All right, so we go to In the Ex... Magria. In the Ex... Total, total. So, so Savage, uh, Mangria says it really Italian. So we got to throw up the hands. To spice the meatball. Oh, Toto. It's me, Mario. So we're starting with NXT because they just had the pay P. I said, I was really about to say P. Pay P. Jesus Christ. I was about to say pay P. The V. But pay per view. Anyway, because I'm drunk. Oh. Oh. Yeah, well, we'll just wait on this cracker. Anyway, Scott Miro still. So, uh, your boy, your boy Finn Balor. No, 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 no. Anyway, Balor Savage is in the ring. He talking some trash. Pete Dunn interrupts. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh shit! Oh, hey, nice sweatshirt, girl. Nice shirt. I got the same one. Oh my god. Oh shit! You ready? Oh well, there's no sound. Nipple time. He's still muted. <laughs> He's got the headphones in. I was talking about OnlyFans. He could show the goods. He shit could. He sh- shit could? Yeah, she could. Still shit. can't hear him, though. He's muted. It literally says a mute sign on his shit. Oh. And he's gone. Just go for it. Just go for it. Just Caesar. carry on. All right. Uh, Balor steps into the ring. And Pete Dunn interrupts. He cuts promo. Uh, Kyle Riley interrupts. Then Damian Priest interrupts uh, Kyle Riley, and then Scarlett kind of interrupts at the top of the ring because they all the, the three of them, as in Kyle Riley, Pete Dunn, and I hear the sheriff, and uh, what was it Kyle Riley, Pete Dunn, and Damian Priest all kind of promo on each other in the middle of the ring, and Finn kind of dips out, uh, and they figure that shit out, and Finn tells them that uh, whatever for New Year's Evil, they got to figure it out. Whoever wants that fin rub. Talk and about uh, Scarlet comes out, dances around, shakes that ass. And Fenton goes, well, what are you going to say? TikTok? Tell your man, come see me. And then uh, he lays down the challenge. And then Priest, Priest actually tells Scarlet, hey, hey, smoke show. She popped me. She popped pop me. me. Yep. He said, hey, smoke show. Tell your man, quit acting like a bitch. Come see me man to man. Uh, what do you guys think about the promo? I'm going to I'm going to start with Bretsky. Well, I mean, yeah, well, uh, Z- Zanka, the sheriff, had some had scary Miro, so I figured I get the scariest thing of all, which is uh, zoomed in straight Sonia's face. Um, <laughs> wow. I don't uh, think she's that bad God, looking. God damn I mean, it, no, Bretsky. She's, she's, she's not that bad looking, but Langria made a whole, a whole fit about it when, she, when they had a zoomed in promo. So now <laughs> just a running gag. Um, but uh, yeah, all the fins and drafters are great. Um, Kyle going, Oh, it's so check on hospital, check on your friend Bobby. That was Bobby. funny. <laughs> um, Scarlet with all the ass cheek hanging out. You saw that you saw all blow bubble, it. all the ass cheek. That was great. Savage, you should watch this promo just, just for, for the ass. Scarlet's the ass. ass hanging out. Yeah, um, good shit. Such a good shit. Such a good shit. Pal. <laughs> No, uh, I love the idea. Don't worry about it. I love the idea of cross vs. Finn. I love the idea of cross vs. Priest. Um, and then this this whole, whole night was Priest's best promos in a while. Um, calling out Cross and you referred to Scarlet as a smoke show. Shit popped me too. Oh, Zank is upside down. Yeah, he is. Yeah. <laughs> we can hear. I does. can hear audio from him for like a second too. Um, but yeah, no, this was great. I, I'd like to see any of these any of these boys just <laughs> challenge for the title. Um, I'd love to see Cross challenge for the title. Obviously, he came out later. Um, but no, yeah, this is a lot of fun. This is a very, very uh, electric start to the show. I'm just glad also Finn didn't mention himself being a cat again. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah, I don't need that anymore. Meow. Oh, I'm waiting for a team up with Natalia. Oh, for Savage, check your Instagram. Uh, check your Instagram. No, did you just send him? Butt meat. Butt meat. I sent him, the, I sent him the shit of Scarlet. So you see the butt meat. Let see the butt meat. It's good uh, shit. Oh God, that's so scary. <laughs> Jake, that is so Jake, scary. What you got? Um, yeah, I mean, all of these matchups are matchups I want to see. <laughs> Every single one. We don't lose here, um, including Karrion Cross and uh, and Finn. Um, but yeah, the butt meat was the highlight of this whole thing. I'm I'm very excited to see who Finn does go go facing after this. It's going to be interesting because again, any of these matches are going to be fun. So I'm happy with anything. I mean, Greer, what you got, bro? 
Kyle O'Reilly at the beginning calls uh, he goes Peter Pumpkin Eater to Pete Dunn. I was like, oh my god, this is some suffering succotash bullshit. Uh-huh. And um, Pete Dunn then uh, looks at Damien and says, "Aren't you the Giza who couldn't beat Leon Ruff? Uh Like Caesar said, who's gonna get the fin rub? Uh, Scarlet with that's the booty, the, the the butt meat. Uh, Finn says, when he's ready, Finn's ready. He talks really weird now. Uh, yeah. Damien about carrying, uh, step up like a man and face me. Uh, pretty good way to kick off the show. Loved it. And that's all I got to say about that. Sheriff or Cesar? Yeah. Cesar already went. I think it's a lost cause. Yeah, okay. Savage, you like when hot bitches come out and talk for their men? Yeah, there there he is. Is. Whoa. 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 worth it now. <laughs> but Savage, oh, yeah. you like when hot bitches come out as a man or talk oh, for yeah. their men? I like how I like how the sheriff is communicating through hot women right now. <laughs> yep. Yeah, man. Hey, it, there it hot is. women and Miro. Hot women and Miro. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we need. <laughs> hot women and Miro. You just still might. All right. <laughs> Next up, we got the Fruit Booty Jake Atlas versus Rich Swan. Who's out? Nope. No, you said Rich Swan. You just said Rich Swan. Oh, shit. Swerve's out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wrong show. Wrong disrespect. Show. Wrong show and wrong <laughs> guy. That's hilarious. Yeah, okay. That's fair. But Cesar is the only person on this podcast who can get away with saying that. That's true. <laughs> That's true. No, nah, fuck that. Many of us say it we're yeah, racist. Swerve. I said I said Rich Swan, but I meant I meant Swerve. Oh, that's funny. Hey, I really wrote uh, my uh, notes. Zanka, I like your pillows. <laughs> Thank I wrote you. my notes. Jake Atlas versus uh, Fruit Booty. What Jake- <laughs> You're losing it. You're losing it. I was, I was drunk writing notes Wednesday because Jake Atlas is the Fruit Booty. <laughs> but uh, now nah, Swerve. Sorry, goddamn, I was lit Wednesday. <laughs> And, and Thursday, and Friday, and, and Saturday. Saturday. You know, don't judge my life, you bitch. Okay, <laughs> don't judge my life. I wish I could do it. I really. It's do. quarantine. You got to do something. That's fair. all right. So Swerve versus Atlas, Fruit Booty versus Me Negro. <laughs> all right. It was mad. Swerve was mad. Swerve uh, was mad. You can't tell swerve, me Swerve was mad. Swerve mad. Swerve mad. Swerve mad. Swerve mad. <laughs> All right, both sides had a tie out. A lot of back and forth. Uh, a lot of back and forth with flips. Joel Swerve with the. What the fuck? Swerve with the. Oh, with the grab. With, and then hits a PK. Kick from Swerve. Back in the rang. Jake f- fights out of the corner. Hits rang and misses with the crossbody. Swerve with the move. Swerve with the move. Get. I don't even know. Get Crush Atlas. Rolls up with a. a roll up. up. I don't even know. Did, Swerve did something to. Apparently, Swerve did something to Atlas. Atlas rolls up, pops up, and Swerve with a flatliner. Okay. Swerve with the chop. Atlas sets up a super kick and a knee and a clothesline and a modified superplex with a two count. Some then there's some punches. Swerve with a roll through and a mean kick to Atlas. Atlas fights out, holds on, roll up through Swerve, got the arm. Atlas roll up and kick out. Swerve back on the offense and Atlas rolls through again. Covers and gets the one, two, three, and then Swerve gets Atlas to Tom Brady, the no handshake at the end of the match, and leaves. So Atlas wins the one, two, three, and the win. Jake, what did you think about this match on NXT? In true Jake fashion, I watched the Hulu cut. cut. (laughs) I watched the Hulu cut. Yeah, yeah, there was, hey, 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 whatever. Holy I don't shit. care what, whatever Jake, whatever Jake's about to say doesn't matter. Whoa. Look at Zang. Booty screen. Storm. Booty Storm. Booty Mrs. Storm. Mangria, Mrs. Mangria. Yeah, I watched That's the Hulu a, cut. It wasn't on like it. Booty, uh, Storm. booty Storm. Look at that instead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, it's gone. Never mind. Don't know it, That's also. That's it's also better than anything though. Jake would have put up. Hey, hey, you can hear hey, him now. hey, you got sound from Cher. 
Yeah, Booty Storm is another reason why you should watch NXT Savage. For sure. You should at least watch NXT for Booty Storm, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I try to catch to... NXT Aww. on Wednesdays when I can because they're obviously NXT is the best of, of the three shows. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But. <laughs> Zank, but, but no. now that Booty Storm is there, <laughs> oh. but now that Booty Storm is there, you should definitely catch it. Smell your hand. <laughs> Smell your hand. Hey, yeah. hey, uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna, get, gonna get some of that juice. Jake, what did you think of uh, Fruit Booty Atlas versus uh, Swerve? He just said he didn't see it, dude. <laughs> didn't see it. Hulu cut. Hulu I was cut. listening. I was fucking looking at butt. I get it. Hulu <laughs> cut. Didn't see it. Moving on. <laughs> Bitch, what the fuck? You watched the pay-per-view, but you didn't watch Wednesday? Yes. All right, Brett, see what you got. Um, yeah, opening sequence to the match was really fun where they're kind of back and forth. Um, yeah, overall. A tripod until we get fucking. Uh, all right. I, I, I've said it last week. I love Atlas winning this. I, mean, I, I didn't say that last week, but I love Atlas winning this. Um, as I said last week, uh, I think they're building off to take the title off Santos eventually way down the line. Uh, Atlas yeah. is a guy that people don't talk about, but oh, wow, that's a great shot right there. Um, <laughs> that's Zagan, Booty Storm. That's, that's Booty, Booty Storm. Storm uh, Savage. His that's not even getting in the way. That's not even WWE. That's a. Uh, I'd rather see her curtains. Um, that's not even <laughs> WWE. That's 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 some other promotion right there. Um, also, she got she got a she got a porn out with she's fingering herself. It's true. All right, let's get back it's on not track. Not that impressive. Though. Yes. Anyway, yes. Adam Bresky, what it say about the match? Yeah. Yes. So, um, I think Jake Atlas is one of the people that people don't t- don't talk about when it comes to character development, but he's had phenomenal fucking character development. Um, he started out just a happy-go-lucky die, guy. It's like, oh, hey, Drake Maverick, I'm your friend. Like, you're a veteran. I love you. You know, helping you get your job back. To then losing all of it, losing it, essentially losing his smile, to losing to Champa, getting aggressive, but still having that positive attitude. And now he has the combination of aggression and positive attitude trying to get back on his winning ways. I love the character development. And he kind of can be like, obviously, it's an overused thing, but it's overused for a reason of the i had a lot of hardship in my life and i overcame and i can overcome this but it, it works always and you always get behind the guy who did it um and atlas especially as a representative for the lgbt community um is a great tool and a great asset for them uh to have uh, so i i'm happy with that he won this match obviously as we all know except for jake uh and and savage because jake doesn't watch because he's too lazy savage doesn't because he's out saving the free world um true you know, booty, uh, Fruit Booty uh, has all the tools uh, to be a future player, a future star. Uh, so I'm very happy with this character development. I cannot wait to see, uh, hopefully, oh, God, that's scary. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's overdressed, uh, son. I, I yeah. hope I hope that I'm right because you can easily make it where, like, it's a long-term build or, like, Atlas keeps on mentioning Santos, but Santos is like, no, dude, fuck off. I already beat you. And then eventually they have to clash, like, maybe months down the line, so Santos gets a big run, and then Atlas wins it off of him as they, and when fans are back, hopefully. So you get the pop. Because people actually do hate Santos. You go, you go on social media, people actually hate Santos. He's being a very good heel. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm happy with them winning, and I think his trajectory is only up. Thank you. Uh, before the match, we had uh, Pete Dunn heading to the the gym, and Killian Dane attacks him, getting revenge for getting the door slammed in his face. Refs and Drake, like Drake's gonna be able to do anything, pull him apart. Then we get Jake Lickass versus Swerve. Quick back and forth in the beginning. Swerve and Atlas have way better chemistry together than Atlas and Knees from last week. Swerve hits a leaping flatliner. Atlas with the suplex and the power bomb. Swerve with the house call kick. Atlas reverse pins attempt by Swerve. And got the three count. Swerve, ref- Swerve refuses to shake hands. Uh, I'm just going to move on. Tomasa Ciampa about to throw a chair. Sets his sights on Cameron Grimes. Throws a chair because it's a promo. That's what he does. Ciampa mad. All right, Cesar, take it. Yeah, I just wrote Ciampa calm. Ciampa going to fight Grimes because he's loud. <laughs> Ciampa hates chairs. Takes it. That's literally what I wrote. All right, three-way. Tag match. Uh, it's a... Uh, Grizzled Young Vets versus Ever Trash versus Imperium. Ever Trash jumped out first, and then it's bald on bald to start. The bald cracker from <laughs> Grizzled Young Vets and the bald cracker from Imperium. That's what I mean. I'm bald on bald. Uh, to start, a uh, great start for Imperium. Ever Trash still hiding outside. Uh, Sick Vic mentioned that shit. They hiding outside. 
Avatrash sneaks up for the tag team move to take out both teams from the vets and the fucking Imperium. Then the vets get a slingshot, a backbreaker, elbow from the vets. Vet set another quick tag and then a two count from both. Uh, the team go down and ever trash. I literally wrote ever trash in these notes. I will send them to me if you don't. Starts to do work and pin after another. There's a double team move and gloating from ever ever trash. And the tags from the real teams get in this match. Quick moves from the vets and a sneak double team from ever ever trash. And then Imperium, Imperium, if you like a yes, Zango, but Imperium Zango. is the fresh man, clears the rang, and beats and beats up the one with the hair, with the, with the hair from the vets. Double team for the bald vet, double team on the vet with the hair. All right, I'm sorry, I did not, I did not learn the names. I just didn't care. <laughs> bald vet. Double team on the ball over there. Ever trash sneaks in, gets a two count, throws out Imperium, mm. and uh, uh, oh, a ticket to mayhem on Ever trash for the one, two, three for the win. The grizzled young vets who uh, are new on the scene, who are great, who are great, we all know, and they're from NXT UK, and they're so now they're still undefeated. Uh, then the, oh, well, that's the next. But the Grizzly Young Vets get the win. The one, two, three. Uh, Savage, do you like the fact that tag teams are getting uh, more prominent on NXT? They're bringing it yeah, in I do, man. NBA. Freaking tag wrestling is always fun to watch. And obviously, NXT always delivers, even though I mm-hmm. don't watch it. But I know it's good. <laughs> and I know that those guys are always putting their putting their work in, you know. And I really enjoy seeing, like, good tag matches and not, like, thrown-together tag teams that just randomly win the belts, you know? So you, so you like more teams versus, like, two guys throw together? Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right. So, so you like that they're treating NXT UK more as, like, now it's, like, the proving ground, and then these guys are coming to NXT, which is on TV. Right. And get more time, and then maybe, yeah. you know, takeovers. To elevate them to the main roster. For sure. Word, word, word. Jake, Drake up. Did you watch the Hulu or? Uh, <laughs> the- Angria, how did you feel about this match? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. I'm going to treat this just like a tripod it. now. Sorry. Listen, Angria. It, it took me, what, three <laughs> weeks? Or no, two weeks to not watch the whole thing. I watched I watched the whole thing the last two weeks, but uh, not. I've been playing too much cyberpunk to be uh, doing all oh, that. Oh, so, wait, wait, wait. You trying to give your character a big dick so he's so it spit out your pants, you fuck boy? <laughs> nope. Better. I Reddit. play as a female. <laughs> Done. With a dick, probably. I, I, did, I almost put, put a dick, dick on her. I yeah, almost put a dick on her because I didn't. Angry. I didn't. What but you I think of this match? Um, cutting out all the fat Perfect of woman. all the the moves and everything, I just asked a question: If Imperium has two members here and two in the UK, why can't they ship off Roddy and Fish to the UK and have uh, Cole and O'Reilly stay Ooh. here to keep the undisputed era gimmick fresh? You know, because I mean, what else are they yeah. gonna do? I would like to see. Hey, okay, who's uh, gonna watch Hold on. Well, I would like to see NXT UK get beefed up with uh, people that matter. <clears throat> wow, you're so, right. No, no, no. Well, besides Fisher being hurt, like when Fisher gets better, I, I'd like your idea. When Fisher gets better, I think Roddy and Fish should go to the UK and at least fight for the tag team championships or maybe even win them. To give Undisputed Era like that brass shit to like go over there. Be like, yeah, bitch, yeah, we win it. We win in titles here. We win titles across the pond. Fuck your couch. Y'all coming over here. Prestige we'll over worldwide. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, fuck your couch up over here. What, Walter? You think <laughs> we think you scared of Walter? We ain't scared of Walter. We're coming there. Fuck his couch up, too. I'm scared of Walter. I am very of scared course, of Walter. Because we're regular people. I'm scared that's, of Walter. That's true. But uh, no, I actually like that point. So when fish, hopefully it's not like a long injury. But if Fish does come out of this quick, I would like to see Bobby. I would like to see Roddy and Bobby go over. Especially if they're going to keep Kyle O'Reilly. 
as like a singles guy. We go for the North American. Or heavyweight, and then Cole go for the North American. Whatever. I would like that. But Bretzky, what are your thoughts? Well, I have this guy on here uh, because cause I'm going to say it. Um, I'm going to say it later. First, I think the Grizzlies you guys look Mets. related. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Thanks, Zanka. Wow. Thank you. I, 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 <laughs> agree. I, you. I, 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 I'm, I so kindly put you on my podcast. This is the thanks I get. No, um, yeah, no, the Grizzlies Young Vets was, winning was the right move. Them painting Ever Eyes was the right move. Um, but yes, I'm going to say it just like that kid. I'm going to say it. I don't hate Ever Eyes because I don't like them anymore. I hate them because they're getting better as heels. I'm not saying they are the greatest thing at NXT because they're not at all. But I like the gimmick. The gimmick's growing on me of uh, the whole conspiracy thing and like how we're the best when they're clearly not. Um, and they keep losing and they keep trying to do, they keep doing smart things that backfire. I like the idea of the gimmick. I think that would be cool. Maybe like Sami Zayn comes down and is like, hey guys, shut the fuck up. This is my gimmick. Or if he's like, hey guys, this is cool. We were all victims of a bigger conspiracy. I think that would be a cool partnership or trio. Uh, but no, yeah, this is a fun tag match. Obviously it was. Everize, um, Everize rules. Uh, that's all you got to know. Um, but no, yeah, uh, I don't, like I said, they don't got that X-Pac heat with me anymore. They just got the, uh, the good heel heat. All right. Next, there was a recap of war games. Wait, Cesar, uh, Zanka, do you have anything to say about the first half of NXT? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it sound wrong? Okay, okay. Zanka, do you have the first half? Yeah. Do you have anything to say about the first two matches of NXT? Or what's your pretzel rating for the men's war games? Yeah, what's your pretzel rating for the men's war games? That's really what it's supposed to be. Eight in the mustard. Wow, look at that. The The respect. I I loved it, man. I thought it was hard-hitting. The table spots were great. I don't want to go too long because I don't know what I missed. But No, you really just missed that. So, really, we just need to talk. Yeah, whatever your rating was for the men's war games. Yeah. Yeah. Eight in the mustard, dude. I fucking love that match. Sure, we're going. Anything to say about the first half of NXT Wednesday? Uh, I enjoyed it more than AEW because fuck them fans, dude. Yeah. <laughs> pretty bad. They're pretty bad. Because <laughs> my president is on the case and he loves to fuck that real shit. Wait a minute. I think the mark. <laughs> I think the mark um, is trying ex- to join. Excuse me, uh, excuse me, Mr. Uh, Sheriff, Mr. 2.0. <laughs> um, the reason that all of your memes get taken down is because they're not funny. Um, because any meme that you make about AEW is not funny. Oh, that's yeah, that's right. I can summon it on command, fucking Mangri. It's a white person thing, right? Only white people ever get voice cracks. Yeah. No, just virgins. Uh, <laughs> you talked about a dick story earlier. <laughs> No, that wasn't that wasn't me, you fucking idiot. Oh, right. I live in my mom's basement. I just redecorated it to look like Bretsky's room. Uh, no, you fu- <laughs> get out, get out of here, get out of here. All right, no, he's gone. Fucking marks, man. <laughs> you summoned him, angry. You summoned him. Sorry, I'm sorry. Caesar, it's okay. Come back you, when we talk about how great is Mark is. Mark gone? Is Mark gone? He's gone. He's gone. I scared him away. I scared him away. <laughs> right. Sheriff, Sheriff's done with this shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. I'm, I'm, still surprised, I'm surprised Fox yeah. is still putting up with it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm here for it, dude. Hey, I told him it's an SRAP family reunion here. It's it's great yeah. to see him again. Yeah. I'm mostly here to shit on you, Jake, on for being That's honest. That's fine. <laughs> the, the, the whole the rest of the podcast does it anyway. I'm being Fox. I'm being Fox. I, I know how to take it. Jake. That's all I know how to take it. So there's a, there's a recap of War Games. Woody Storm had an e- EO interview. She wants to fight EO. And there's some shit in the ring. And then, uh, oh. Rang. Shit happened in the ring. And then EO still went for the pin. After yeah. just Muso and Tony yep. Storm. She went for the pin. Which I thought was so fucking funny. Uh, then, yeah. Shit happened. Anyway. Grimes versus Chamber Mad. You got to say it right. Say it right. Say you got to say it right, Cesar. Cesar. I'm not saying it right. I don't it's have to his it show. Right. It's his show. Who's show? You can say it, Bretsky. It's, it's, it's Chamber Grimes. Show. First of all, I, yeah, first of all, I, I was just saying, I, I don't know. I agree with Caesar. I don't. I didn't think it was Grimes' show, but it's always fine. Cameron Grimes' show. Whenever fine first Cameron all, Grimes is on. It was technically Champa Calm. Champa Calm. Champa Calm. 
He was he was he was calm in that promo. He was calm. He did he throw a chair. chair. He did throw yeah, a chair. Okay, but fuck that, yeah. fuck that chair. Fuck That's that chair. That's the only time he was calm <laughs> during the promo that he threw the chair. Yeah. So Champa hates chairs. Yeah. Make it a shirt. Make it a but shirt. But he wasn't mad. But he's calm. And Jake, get ready because I didn't hear you say anything. Oh, bitch. I'm ready. If you are, bitch, you better save that punch. There's no way they cut that out of the Hulu cut. No, I saw it. <laughs> Are, 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 is it no, my turn? He gonna, he gonna say some shit. Even is it my turn to? Are we? Are you? Do, are we done breaking it down? No, I'm about to break okay. it down. Okay, break sorry, it down. The space bar. The break space it down. Bar. Sorry. Headlock to an arm lock by Champa Cone. Can bring Champa Cone because he wasn't angry. Grimes in a leg lock and then a headlock that takes the and then Thatch grabs a chair, walks down the ring. And he takes a seat. So usually Champ Mad takes a seat during matches, but Champ, but uh, Thatch Calm. Thatch Mad. Thatch Calm. Thatch Mad. Thatch Mad takes a seat. And watching his uh, Champ locks up Grimes in the ring. Champ lays out Grimes with a back elbow. And, and then Champ up. Champ have that bedroom hums with, with Thatch staring outside. Then Grimes takes advantage. Reversal. Hits a reversal. Then a reversal by Champa. And they set back in the ring. Grimes gets a knee. And then Sick Vic pulls a JR and says, We gon' we gonna keep up with this match with picture and picture. And then I really wrote sassafras, barbecue sauce. <laughs> like I did for uh like I did for uh for oh wait, this is the same thing. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That's Vras. Cesar hasn't seen it yet. Oh no! Gretzky, what the fuck? They hit the down to earth. That's that swinging rock bottom. That shit. That's it. Who's doing the lemon party? It works over the champel. I'm Back sorry, I don't have it on. I don't have it ready. An Irish rip that leads into clotheslines by Champ, like stick clotheslines by Champa, then a running knee to Grimes, and then and then it gets a reversal to a knee and a flying elbow, and that leads to a running slam by Grimes. Does I don't know why I wrote something in parentheses. I guess it was like a fuck you, Bretzky. But there was probably. <laughs> probably. Well, this one makes sense. Seems like a trend. Top, yeah. Champa with the chops. And then dumped <laughs> to the outside. And then, oh shit, a denture shows up. Dis- distracts. <laughs> I distracts wrote that too. <laughs> yep. Denture. I wrote denture. Oh, Keep no. Now all of them here. five of them. Oh, they all <laughs> shut up. <laughs> they multiplied. <laughs> It, oh my god. Oh, King Grimes. I think in outside. for an interesting evening. Outside by Champa. <laughs> it's the Widow's Bell for the one, two, three. Uh, fucking uh, Champa Mad gets uh, Champa Calm, gets the ring, then Thatch, Thatch on the outside. Because he's chilling, because Champa Calm leaves the ring. Thatch on the outside. He's chilling. Grimes pulls up, and he's like, Yo, man, why you get that ditcher to work up on me? And then Thatch grabs uh, Grimes' leg, twists that shit. And then, uh, yeah, he twists Champa, he twists Grimes, he twists uh, Grimes' leg, fucks his shit all up. Gretzky, what did you think of the match and the after of the match? Oh, I like this match. Grimes again, look, fine. Gamma Grimes looks once again. He looked good. Um, another good performance from him. Maybe because he didn't have to hit a cave in, so he didn't have to, uh, you know, potentially fuck up a cave in. But it was still a good performance from Grimes. He played the character well. Um, I like how uh, Wade on Barrett on commentary was just like, yeah, no, I talked to Grimes, and uh, honestly, he doesn't care that he lost. He's just happy he doesn't have to talk to Loomis and deal with Loomis again. That was pretty funny. Um, yeah, no, both of them got their shit in. It was just hard hitting. It was fun. Um, I love, again, I love the long-term seeds are playing for Thatch and Champa. And I love how Thatcher's just like, yeah, no, fuck you, uh, Grimes. I'm going to hurt you anyway. Cause I'm mad. I'm Thatcher mad. 
Um, so now that was good. I, I really enjoyed this whole segment. It played to everyone's strengths well, and it set up a long-term feud, which I am very, very much here for. Greer, what you got, bro? Uh, Cameron Grimes versus Tommaso Ciampa, mad at stairs. Uh, also, stairs. On com- also on commentary, Beth calls Grimes a braggart. <laughs> I was like, who the fuck uses that word? It's what me. the fuck? Oh, my God. It's me. Oh, oh my god, now we gotta do a two jakes? I'm out of here. <laughs> double dose. That's, it's the greatest <laughs> podcast ever. That's double double dose. the manpower that could drag me back down to the dungeon. One hundred percent. Um and the only other thing I wrote that was notable was that uh Ciampa and Thatcher with Wardlow and Hager vibes staring each other down. Benjamin. All right. Snap Who's out of it, Caesar. Next. All right, all right. God, this Caesar. <laughs> hey, Jake, we never say that. Who are oh, you? Oh, 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 up next was uh. What about me? Oh, oh, we, we don't matter. Oh. Did you watch it, oh, Jake? Jake, I did. You, you just told you that you don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> that Jake, sounds man. about right. All to right, be honest, all right, Jake, did you watch? I did. From oh, here yes. on, I think I saw everything. Okay. You think there's only I two think. things left? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, I enjoyed the match overall, and I know Bretzky's going to get jealous because I too love when Cameron Grimes acts like a pussy because it makes me just want to fuck him. My yeah. man. Yeah. My man. It makes, you, it makes you what? It makes you hard. Oh, uh, yeah. It makes me hard, inches. and I want to fuck him. I, yeah, I got to specify. I don't want to go in yeah. soft. Yeah. Well, you know what? Yeah, I, was, I just want to say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add a little thing to mine. When I, when I get hard, I don't just get rock hard, I get moon rock hard. <laughs> Moon's made of cheese. <laughs> Um, yeah, overall, I enjoyed the match. I think these two uh, have pretty decent in-ring chemistry, um, but it, it's just a one-off, and it really was just to, to further Thatcher. And uh, Well, I mean, we might have Thatch and Cameron Grimes next week if he's not, like, k Wait, wait so. which one's talking? I, I can't tell. <laughs> the yeah, better-looking yeah, one. I mean, me personally, I'm a Simon Dean fan, so I just want him to show up again. <laughs> I do. I'm That's really true. getting sick of all these NXT and AEW midget guys. Like talented yeah. people, yeah. But but bottom Jake, does Cameron Grimes make you hard and make you want to fuck him? You see him Jake is like always pussy? the bottom. So which one? <laughs> Sheriff two point you... Sheriff two point who is acting like Jake. Does Cameron Grimes make you hard and make you want to fuck him when he acts like a pussy? One hundred percent. Yes. Okay. Okay. Hey, he said the thing. He said the line. He did <laughs> the classic Jake line. Also, shop.spreadshirt.com backslash still real after party. <laughs> I'm shocked he got that right. We are I'm going shocked. to have a fine Cameron Grimes <laughs> shirt in about 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. I'm shocked that he got that right. I am so All right. High ne- right ne- next That's up. why. <laughs> did we mention that Thatcher got five stitches in his fucking ear? Yeah, we yeah. did not. Okay. We did not mention he got five stitches in his ear, but. That was gnarly. He was sitting yeah, out here and he had five stitches in his ear. Then, uh, was, was it the way next? Yeah, it was the way next. No, it was the Asians. Yeah, more weird ass. Oh, torture yeah, it, porn. it was, it was yeah, the, more it was weird the Yakuza torture trailer. The Yakuza. The Asians. Yeah, the Yakuza trailer. <laughs> yeah, the Asians were like getting tortured and they were getting punished for not being true Asians like Chung Li and Shang Tsung <laughs> and fucking Kung Lao. So, since they ain't strong enough. Ironic that he Shang Tsung was actually in this, getting a boner. Shang, yeah, you're right. Shang Tsung was in it. So the Asians were punished for not being Chung Li and Kung Lao, and they had to keep fighting and punching and kicking and doing work. And then I was like, yo, this is some fucked up oh, shit. Oh, no. And I was like, oh, we got Asian a Bretsky now. Oh, my God. Two the, 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 it's Hanukkah. Yeah. All the Jews are coming out. Yeah. So <laughs> I was like, I don't really care because, you know, Asian people can take this punishment because they're real. Anyway, Johnny yeah, Gargano. Asians are real. <laughs> they are real. I thought they were a myth. I mean, oh, same. Johnny Gargano came out with uh with Candace and all and Mother Crackers, <laughs> and they introduced themselves as the Way. Savage Alpha Foxtrot. If you heard of a group of four people, and they call themselves the Way, how do you feel about that? The Way. The Way. W-A-Y. Yeah, the way. They're I don't know, the man. Way. This is the way. 
Shut up, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's my line. <laughs> nope, not Bretzky. You don't say that. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 <laughs> how, how, how do you feel about? Yeah, but usually they usually they say it's a married couple, and usually they say this is the Gargano way because that's their last name. But now they have a group. They have a couple followers, and they yeah. call themselves the Way. How do you feel about that? I don't I'm not a I'm not a big fan of the name. Okay, okay. I'll say that. But but as long as there's good people in it and cool people in it, I'll allow it. That's true. Not we, did all name, though. we did I'll all shit on the name. name inner circle. That's true. Inner circle? Inner circle nobody sh- nobody off. shit on inner circle. They did. Those two idiots did. Well, I don't know. <laughs> No, not I you. I know. I'm pointing at. I'm pointing at Jake on my screen. Oh yeah, you pointed at Jake and Zinger. Yeah. Yeah, they they oh, shed on the name circle. Name inner circle. Yeah, I think that's dumb as hell. I said it. I oh, agree. you were you were doing so well, Savage. <laughs> He's doing so well. He's Pritzky, doing it looks so like well. you have two giant arms coming out. I know. Of your I, I, I look <laughs> like Killian Dane. I know. It's <laughs> wild. Those are my arms. <laughs> Mega oh gosh, Angria. Ah. It, it's 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 UK Mangria. <laughs> All right. Man, Mangria, what do you think of this uh, Johnny promo and with the way? You know what? I'm giving him props for trying. Johnny is a genius. He hates wheels. We love him every week. Every segment he yeah. comes out, he sports entertains us. I love this. Uh, it's a new faction. Why not? It's going to add more, you know, it's going to make it fresh again, make his character. I feel bad for Candice. I hope she gets healed up um, really soon. And then in the crowd, you hear someone say, you suck. And then Johnny goes, I don't suck, man. Like, I love how he took the time to point that out and comment on it. And then Johnny surprises Candace with the trophy. <laughs> with the fucking, um, that is not the right word. With the uh, Barbie Shotsy head. head. Barbie Ooh, head glued on top. Oh, brats. Those fucking brats toys. Oh, yeah. That's what I wrote. Uh, Johnny, oh, no, I'm back. Johnny and Austin. That's what I say when you come around too. High five without looking. If you're not in the way, stay out of our way. But then Damien oh, interrupts. No. <laughs> no, oh, no. It's Mitch. Oh, yeah, oh my God. Hey, wait a minute. This 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 podcast is not sponsored by A&W. Pause for editing. Pause for editing. Pause, Pause for editing. <laughs> Pause for editing. <laughs> but yeah, that's my thoughts. All right, uh, Britsky. Uh, Wax product on your thoughts, and then it's Jake. Yeah, I love this promo. This whole promo was great. Um, are we talking about Priest as well? Or are we talking about that yeah, separate? Yeah, yeah. Just talk about Priest as well. Um, so the I actually love the name of the way because it's it's kind of it's funny, but also like the line because it's cheesy and it fits with Johnny and Candace being cheesy assholes. Um, because it's like the line: if you're not in the way, then get out of our way. I love that line. Like, and it's it's Johnny and Candace saying it, so it's great. Um, Johnny is hilarious as always. Theory yelling into the mic, the Milky Way, fucking was funny. Them not being able to do a drum roll and Theory just like flexing his pecs was fucking funny. And Johnny like, oh my bad, we should have practiced. That was really funny. The fucking trophy was great. Then Priest was another had another great line tonight. One of his best promo nights. Do you still have that pipe? Because I'm gonna shove it up your ass. <laughs> uh, was, that was great. Yeah. Uh, and then, oh fuck, cross killed priest. Yeah. Um. And I loved. I love this also because it crossed the stories of priest and Garganos and priest and cross all into one. It crossed them. Get it? It it, it, it combined them all into one. Um. So that was that was really cool to me as well. Oh God, Mitch and and Doofus Face are back. Mitch and other guy are back. By the way, Johnny yeah. has stitches in his fucking mouth. That looked yeah. bad. that looked painful. Yeah. Yep. Uh-oh. Oh, slowly. Wait, I just gotta say, you know, I realized the guy next to slowly. Mitch kind of looks slowly. like if if Chris Van Vliet, but like well, a couple of levels down. <laughs> it, it, like dollar store Chris Van Vliet. Yeah, it's like dollar, it's, it's dollar, like store, dollar, Chris Van Vliet. dollar store gay porn Chris Van Vliet. <laughs> can, um, can we really quick hear the thoughts on this Johnny Gargano segment from Keith Slowly? Really quick. You said really quick and Keith There's Slowly. No sense. No, no. Well... Thank you, Mangria, for wanting my intellect, shul, opinion 
on this promo. I, for one, liked words. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Uh, Cesar, who's next? <laughs> uh, me. Uh, oh my god, Cesar left. just came out of the comic again. Holy shit. Jake, Jake do you have notes on uh, fucking uh, the shit? It's, it's a bad name, but it's also the perfect name for this group. Does that make sense? Yep. Because yep. <laughs> it's not a good name. And for anyone else, it, obviously I've been a huge fan of Johnny Gargano as a heel for the entire time. Oh, and yeah. I, oh, I think, oh, and you oh, haven't. Oh, no, you oh, haven't. Fuck oh, don't even oh, lie, oh, you oh. bitch. Don't even lie, you yeah, bitch. Yeah, all right. So some backstory real quick. Episode 52. Savage. Go back to Savage. Go back Savage, Savage. Yeah, this man Savage, right for, for, for reference, when Johnny turned heel, the tripods, me, Angry and Bretzky, thought it was this is all great. And Jake's like, yeah, I'm like Johnny Gargano as a as a heel. He, and he Sam sounds dumb. He fucking sounds yeah, but dumb. Sam sticks to his opinion. Which just means he won me over. I want to show him You guys are talking. You're talking too fast for Keith. Slow it down. That's true. Hey, that's problems. That's my problems. Keith's problems. Jake, slow ass bitch. Oh God. Your opinions. On Johnny Gargano as a as a heel are absolutely flabbergasting. (laughs) That's a big word. (laughs) Um, I'm surprised. No, there's more guys. Big words. (laughs) Um. So, yeah, I, I enjoy this name for this group. Like I said, if it was anybody else, it wouldn't work, I don't think. But the way – they're just such snarky heels that I think it's going to be perfect, and I'm excited to see what they do going forward. And I hope they add more members. I assume the Ghost Faces, unless that was a one-off, um, they, they could have more, but who knows. That's so savage. There's been Ghost Faces for a while. Oh, yeah. You know Ghost Faces from, from uh, Scream. This Scream. Scream, Scream, yeah. Like Scream 1? Yeah, man. They started at Halloween Havoc, which is funny. They're ghost faces, and now they're turning like real people, which is great. And Jake hated him from the beginning. What? You did, sure. bitch. You did. I sure. Did I say anything about it? I, I see no lies. I don't even remember having an opinion on them, to be honest with you. Yeah, actually, uh-huh. that's fair. Jake didn't say anything about those. I don't guys. think I did. Yeah, but you hated Johnny Organo being a heel from the top. No, I love him we forever. All were great. I, I've always loved Johnny Gargano as a heel. Shut your bitch ass up. I hate you. Even the music is so good. <laughs> Even the music is great. It is. Anyway, I the, music. the music is fantastic. Next on NXT was Peter Dune. Where's that hurry or faggot? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're for everyone here. We're for everyone. Those Man, and look at- <laughs> words are a bore. <laughs> what is he gonna like, the day calendar like, out right now? I, I like looking at this picture because Keith is just like staring into all of our staring, shows. Just staring at it, yeah. <laughs> and I did I didn't even mean it. I didn't even mean it. I was just mad at Jake. <laughs> I was really just mad at Jake. I didn't even oh, mean man. it. But Peter Dune versus Killian Dane. I really want to say faggot Jake. I really want <laughs> <laughs> That's where that came from. People who like Killian Dane. Oh, I admit it for Baggage Jake. But I'm on some shit. Well, it's what happens when you drink in the streets <laughs> and you want to take notes. Anyway. Woo! All right. Throwing backhands back and forth. Dune <laughs> sets up across from Dane. And then uh, Dune gets a uh, Dune gets a shot in. This is Dune and Dane. So you got to bear with me. Dune and Dane. This shit close. <laughs> and Dune gets a shot in and hit with a pair of pump kicks by Dane. Wait, wait, Peter Dane. Killian Dane. Yeah, I got to get that shit. And then a slam on the apron 
by Dean. He's in control until he hits the head on the post. Pete is beating up Dane. The big man, Dune. You got this, buddy. You got this. Everyone cheer him on. Let's cheer him you on. You can do Caesar. it. Caesar. 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 No, no, no. Nope. It's something <laughs> neck and stomping on and stomping. Oh, <laughs> oh it's madly. No. It's Lee. madly. Yeah, it's Keith madly. It's it's slowly and madly. Bro. It's fucking... <laughs> Big man, Dune. On the neck and stomping on Dune. And now kicks to the face. Seeming to piss off Dane. And had a belly to belly. A belly belly to Boone. And answers with an insiguri. Oh. <laughs> belly belly belly. So, Dune, so Dane hits a belly to belly on Dune. Answers with this is a, actually an intervention for Caesar. Uh, <laughs> every every no taking notes. shit, every no taking saying. shit I do is definitely an intervention. For the performance, it's center. funny because like these three are empty, so I know I flipped the page. <laughs> I'm writing a legal pad, and then uh, a scoop German to a commercial to a commercial. Dude's still in control. Commercial. Sassafras. Bottle Care Golf. J off. A W. Some control. And we go into a commercial. Uh, the try to choke out by the hairy fucker. That's right. That <laughs> Dude gets a beat down in the corner. And it's a choke slam and a splash. And a power bomb, and a elbow, and to a two count. Dane goes for the electric chair reversal to a triangle choke by Dune, which leads into a power bomb. A fucking a drop kick by Dune, and he and he was and he tries to drive into the corner, and then Dune with the stomps. And now both up top of the stomps. And now both up top. Super Fisherman Suplex. And the two count for the beast with the hair. Another insecurity by Dean with a the clothesline and a slam and then a slam. A senton by Dean. And the ones and twos come out. Now Drake Mavericks is out with a chair on the outside. He beats up the ones and twos. He's now he's now got attacked on by Dane with the save because because the Maverick said the ones and twos, and now Dane with the save. And now the kick <laughs> kick by Dunn, and now the bitter end by Dunn for the one two three the bruiser weight. With the interference from the one and two, you got. <laughs> oh shit! This guy's face sucks. No. <laughs> and then uh, the one, two, three from the better end. P. Dunn gets the win over over uh over Killian Dane. Ha! Ah, fucking Bresky. What are your thoughts about this match? Oh man, well shout out to, to 2020 Val Venus behind me. Um hello. Is that what that is? Hello, ladies. No, 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 uh, yeah. Um Savage Tony. Savage Rafashra, that is the guy who writes the checks for AEW. The that is that is Mr. Throw. Tony that is Tony Khan who has his, who has his soccer fan soccer fans all over the world pissed off at him. The guy who does. writes the checks. Guy who technically we all hate more than Cody Jarrett. Well, because Cody can wrestle. Yeah, Cody can wrestle. That faggot motherfucker down there. Yeah, I said it. I said it. <laughs> all right, Bretsky, go ahead. Break down the match. Buddy. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No, I like this. We never really see a super fisherman suplex, as opposed to it's usually regular or a falcon arrow. So I really like those fishermen. Um. Yeah. No, I think that Dane and Mav are gonna win the titles. Um. 
this is fun. Two big British boys just beating the fuck out of each other. How could you not like it? Angria. The only uh, notable thing I'm going to say about this match was it looked like Dane was about to hit a one-wing angel at one point. Yeah, I thought the same thing. You noticed that. I I saw saw the same thing, but then, yeah, I'm looking for it out of it. Yep, that's it. All right, so next we got a... He skipped Jake. Jake, No, he didn't watch. I did. All right, whatever, bitch. All right, fine. You got got notes? No. Well, shut the fuck up. (laughs) Come on, Jake. Dang it, do you got notes? Or Tony Khan, you got notes? I got a take on it, though. I don't want them to win the tag titles. (laughs) Boo! Boo! I like... You know, I like both these guy. guys, but NXT shouldn't be more joking. I like that they just stick see, to like see, oh the my badass God. wrestlers. Yeah, exactly, exactly. See, my my president, my president doesn't want fucking Killian Dane and fucking uh, that other cracker who's Matt. short to win the title. Yeah, Drake Maverick to win the tag team title because NXT is more serious. They're not just Vince the jokey jokey. See, my president. Wow, I never thought there'd be something me and Zanka would disagree on because they are extremely entertaining. I like them. I do. I like them. They don't don't really need to be tag champions, but they are entertaining. Exactly. And they don't lose my attention when they're on screen. But they they will be tag team champions because that's how NXT works. Mm. Because Vince – no, Vince is following NXT because of AEW. And that's how it will work. Look at Tony, Look at Tony Khan's this. face right there. That's such a bad picture of him. <laughs> but really you funny. know this. It's really funny, See, but it's a, such a bad picture. The president He's currently on the Celebrity Wing Hall of Fame from the, <laughs> to see who his new signee is going to be. <laughs> look, look, Mangria, look. The president told you, bro. He did. The president, the president did you, say bro. it. Huh? I tried to tell you. The president okay, let's you. move on. Let's move on, guys. Come on. All right. Amber Poon versus Trey Sonya for the – Mangria, hit me with it. Hit me with it. NXT. What is this the last Main match? Main event. Say it like Justin yeah. Roberts would say it. No, we're not on AEW yet. Yeah, we're not on AEW, <laughs> so fuck that cracker. All right, Poon versus Ray Sonia. <laughs> I wrote poop the whole match. I just realized that. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> poop, poop is quick on Ray Sonia. <laughs> Try to do moves, and the power game is too much. Where's Dre Sonia? I actually wrote out Dre Sonia, not just SS. You wrote Dre Sonia. You wrote Dre Sonia. That's why. I wrote Dre Sonia. Dre Sonia, just throw a poop. Just throw a poop around. <laughs> just throw a poop around after some. Uh... Yeah, I gotta quit watching the shit drunk. What are you drinking? Urban, <laughs> man, I gotta. <laughs> I see that fucking list. I said, Andy, closet of bourbon. Oh, yeah, closet of bourbon. It's a bourbon bottle. Oh, right. my God. It's <laughs> straight Sonya throwing poop around. Just my classic NXT. I gotta, I gotta turn off my, my favorite my, match. <laughs> I gotta turn off my virtual background. The fucking... Are you still going to get your 50 bucks if you do? Yeah, I put okay. that crack on. All right. Uh, so, anyway. Uh, <laughs> Ember strikes, in a, and she's got a stiff shot. <clears throat> and then elbow, and then elbow, elbow shots from Poon. Elbow, elbow strikes and some some lock set from Drake Sonia. And it hits a knee, and then a flatliner, and she rolls through. I got to turn around. Grimes in control. And rhymes. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, sorry. That's some dumb. That's some. Poon dives into uh, Trey Sonia, throw into the rope, and the picture in picture. That's a fresh. With the save during the break, and then Trey Sonia gives out a mean boot. He gets a two count and has Poon locked into a submission. Poon escapes, tries a roll up, uh, gets each and goes for a splash, but boot to the chest. And then gets wait 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 boots in the chest, and then gets into a submission. 
Boone finally slams Trace Onion in the turnbuckle and uses the turnbuckle and gets a superplex on Trace Onion. And Boone, with a flurry of strikes, goes to a flipping clothesline and hits a man DDT in the middle of the ring. And now a drop kick outside, outside of the ring. And Pooh dives outside and lays out a stroke on the table. Boone climbs to dive that shit next to the uh, next to the table. That fucking I don't know what the fuck you call it. Next to the ring and then next to the ring. Right. And then Lila's and then Straight Sonia gets caught and then into a ring post, then kicks out on two. Straight Sonia misses Spear in the corner. Thun. Who has her pay with a high knee? Who climbs to the top? Straight Sonia baits Boone in the middle with a clips. Misses the clone line with a finisher. And then Boone rolls up the kick. And now a one arm power bomb to that bitch. Straight Sonia for the win. One, a two, a three. And then Booty Storm comes her bitch ass out. Not Trying to good. fuck up Poon again. I love that butt. I love that butt. <laughs> nice man. <laughs> bam, bam. And the run time of this nice match was man. five minutes. <laughs> bam, bam. And then, um, oh my god. And then, and then Rhea says Poon, she brings her hoe ass out. And then she stands in the ring with Trace <laughs> Odia. And, and then they talk shit. <laughs> Not to call no hoe, no bitch. Not to call no hoe, no bitch. <laughs> And then he's oh. the ring. And then that's how NXT goes off the air. The great <laughs> rescue. How do oh. you break down that last the uh the main the main Oh my style? god. Style. How Whenever, do you break down the main event of NXT? <laughs> Whenever I hear the sheriff laughing, I look over at his thing and I forget that Tony Khan is still there. And it, it, it makes it pops. Sorry, it's too dark for my face. Sorry. <laughs> it, it pops every time. It's like with Miro. Every time I looked over, I saw Miro. I just lost That's it. good, too. Um, yeah, no, they, these two clearly work very well together. Um, two hard-hitting ladies. Um, the support beam spot, holy shit. Um, I thought that that... that could have gone very poorly um but yeah. ember uh is like a, ember much like she smells like cat piss is like agile like a cat um and you know love ember poon uh she that whole spot was great uh very fun hard-hitting main event raquel is growing her star power um then she caught the fucking eclipse which was fucking yeah. awesome um and big because that that uh, apparently knocked indy hartwell out of action um completely put, gave her a neck brace which really put over the eclipse um yeah then tony booty storm came out and she got scared as fuck when Rhea's music hit which is really fucking funny um yeah Rhea and raquel and finished business sign me the fuck up i am very excited for that for that rematch um basically savage it is two tall muscular scary looking ladies um going at it and it's a lot of fun each time so uh yeah that's my that's my take on it jake did you watch a minute of it I did. Um, yeah, wow. I, 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 <laughs> shocking. I know. Uh, I forgot how good Ember Moon is. I, I mean, she she was never really able to show it on main roster, and and then you watch this match, and you can really see that that this is where she shines. She shines in NXT. Everyone shines in NXT. Um, but Raquel Gonzalez, she's uh, sorry, straight Sonia. She is an absolute star, and she she's gonna do great things going forward. I'm excited to see her and Rhea and uh, and. Hopefully Tony and Rhea too. I think that's happening next week. Um, yeah, no, it is. It is. Yeah, so uh, I'm excited to see that as well. And whenever I can see Tony Storm on my screen, I am a very happy man. So, so wait, let me ask you then, Jake. Before we move on, you're not scheduled. Like, we are. Are the whole deal for the you be on the tripod was it was going to end this week? So, what are the actual odds that you watch NXT for that match? Uh, low, <laughs> <Yep>. low odds. <laughs> uh, but maybe I'll uh, look at some Twitter clips or something. There you go. There you yeah. go. As you give your female character in Cyberpunk a dick. Uh, of course. A cybernetic Man, Rio, dick. What'd you got? A uh, straight Sonya is a goddamn stu- superstar. Uh, Zanka, what was your favorite uh, moment of this week's NXT? Did you have a highlight of the show? Yeah, I like the Gargano promo. I thought that really was going to further their whole thing. I like the main event, and I like 
I'm really looking forward to next week. I think Kyle O'Reilly and fucking uh, Pete Dunn. I think that's the match set up. That's going to be fucking badass. I don't know. NXT does a good job of slow builds for the most part, which I really yeah. like. Yeah. Here's a hot take, dude. I think Tony Storm's ass has an expiration date of five years. Whoa. What? Wow. Wait, yep. you think you're flat? You think it's going to be flat? Of, her thighs and her ass, she's just going to turn into one of them white trash women who live in a oh, trailer. Oh, yeah. She has 37 <laughs> kids. She's got that fucking linebacker of lower half. It's good now, but give it a couple. Oh, no. She has a Walmart <laughs> future. Oh, no. That's hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, hey, she, she got the juice. Juice. Wow. Yeah, when so, get, doing she's that right now. British. So unless she starts fucking black guys, it's not going to get bad. So if, she just started, if she's still trying to fuck white guys, that butt's going to be there. Yeah, he's right. Well, uh, Cesar. Well, I'll take one for the team then. Yeah. <laughs> Cesar, no, thank I'll, you. No, I'll take one for the team. I'll take one. You ruin it for the rest of us. Uh, guys, you're not going to make it out of an AEW review. I'm hit, if I'm hitting Booty Storm, I will send picks to the group chat forever. Oh, shit. Forever. Nice. Hell yeah. Nice. Because y'all want Because that is my vice president. Y'all want people. You got my vote. I will honestly send Booty I will honestly send Booty Storm big butt picks. Even <laughs> even the cynic? Oh fuck that crack! Ah, fuck <laughs> cynic! Oh, fuck man. cynic! He's getting muted. Yeah. Fuck cynic! Fuck cynic. cynic! You don't get to see shit. <laughs> yeah, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Cynic, cynic's out. One three eight. That fuck boy's out. Yeah, no, no, but yeah, that, yeah. You don't you don't watch Takeover. You don't watch Takeover. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> cynic's married. We can't be tempting him. That's true. Married. That's true. Fucking married, man. Well, Mangri is married. Rocks. Yeah, but Cynic's yeah, freshly is married. married. <laughs> That's true. Cynic Mangri is married. married now at the point where he can look at the menu. <laughs> no, no, you were. Right. Yeah, you were. Right. Well, Cesar, no. thank you. Thank you for the uh, your hosting duties. I will take over uh, he, for he, he AEW. Said duty. He said duty. Uh, uh, it yeah. starts off with the Young Bucks versus Bretsky's favorite tag team, TH2. Oh. Uh the notable thing I, I liked about this match was that Jack Evans, Jack Evans springboards off of Matt Jackson's back, who was in a fireman's carry, on the floor hit Jackson, who was on the outside. I thought that was yes, a pretty uh, sweet move there. But, of course, the Young Bucks win with the BTE trigger. Sheriff, I'm starting with you. Uh, do you recall this match, and what was your favorite part? The part you already said, exactly. That flip off the back, that was sick, because that can go wrong so easily, and it looks so smooth. I know I like to shit on their spots and shit, but sometimes the Young Bucks have some sweet spots, and you know they usually set up those matches, so I got to give them credit for that one. And everything, everything was smooth for the most part in this match. There was no botches. It was just a smooth match. I mean, I think everybody knew the Young Bucks were going to take the take the W anyway, but I liked it. Uh, the Great Bretzky, are TH2 growing on you yet? I mean, they're, no, but like one good match isn't going to make them grow on me, um, but... I mean, yeah, this is my favorite TH2 match I've ever seen. So, I mean, that's, I guess, saying something. Um, this did piss me off. It got me on a little rant, a little Bretzky rant, because it reminded me of some Cody Jarrett saying there's no nobodies in wrestling shit. And it got me thinking. Um, it, was a, it was a fun match or whatever, but TH2 should not have put up that much of a fight um, for someone <laughs> other than – for someone like you know anyone who you will watch that has not watched fucking triple a uh they don't know who these two fucking jabronis are so it's like okay i get your tag team i'm not watching dark i'm a casual fan who who is this guy and why is he as jr said the most resilient man in the locker room sassafras you know like the dude kicked out of the super kick party kicked out of risky business kicked out all that shit for a match just on a dynamite with a team that they still haven't built up to that level yet, you can't be kicking out of moves like that. You can't be doing that. You can't you can't have them kick out and, and, and make them look strong and then have them go back to losing. You know, have to have, have them win two matches and then lose three on dark. Um, and it goes back to the same thing. Like, TH2 needs to be featured a lot more and they need to be explained a lot more before they can put up actually a competitive match like that with the fucking Young Bucks because the Young Bucks are the best tag team in the world, whether you agree with that or you disagree with it. They're the tag champs, and that's how they're billed as. So, I mean, like, they're the hybrid, too. The whole thing is that the JR said, like, on commentary, it's a hybrid mix of styles. I saw pretty much the same style with these two in that match. I didn't see much of a difference in styles. So if I'm tuning into Dynamite for the first time because they clearly got new viewers from the last fucking – from from Sting's debut week, 
if I'm getting new viewers and I'm saying it's a hybrid to a hybrid styles, I didn't see much hybrid styles. They kind of just looked like it was all to put it bluntly spot monkeys. So it, it was it, that was the same thing, and it goes back to the fucking shit with Warhorse. Like you can't have Warhorse, this dude who five people know, come in and have a twenty minute barn burner with Cody Cody Jarrett at, for the TNT title. Sure, you give him a little bit of offense, but you can't have him putting up this much of a fight. Same thing with these guys. They need AEW's problem among the other than the women's division, which is a problem that's been well stated, is that they don't build up guys. It's like they it's a wrestling company by wrestlers for wrestling fans. And they're not going to grow. They can't grow, and they can't take over WWE. They can. They're they're beating NXT, but they can't take over WWE and become the premier wrestling company if you if you don't build characters. You can't expect everyone who comes in. You can't expect me to to keep up with AEW, WWE, New Japan, AAA, Progress, Evolve, all of these places. And then when someone comes in, they automatically know. Okay, you are this character. You are this resilient. You are this such and such. You can be a champion. If I don't know you, you need to build up that character. Explain to me who these fuckers are. That's that's they did it, it. It just brought that same kind of vibe as Warhorse having a twenty minute match with Cody Jarrett. Jake, do you think this is a good way to kick off uh, Dynamite? I know you were screwed because there's no Hulu cut of this. So what were no, your thoughts um, on the opening match? <laughs> Instead of the Hulu cut, I just didn't finish it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I, I thought this was a great way to kick off the match i half agree with bretsky about the th2 being not superstars or whatever they were around from the beginning of dynamite so if you have been watching dynamite from the beginning you should still know who these people are um they did kind of go away for a spell they, they they were on dark for a lot like a lot of the time um but they have been around so uh i, I half agree half disagree but um yeah i, I think they put on a hell of a match All, both teams obviously the young bucks are one of the one of the best tag te- again, like Bretsky said, they're they're one of the best tag teams, whether you want to admit it or not. And uh, yeah, it was fun. It was a hype way to kick off the show, I'd say. Well, Cesar, the Bucks did hit a doomsday device on the ramp when we heard JR say, Tell him, Hawk. Uh, what were your thoughts on the opening match of the AEW Dynamite? Oh, it was it was it was a good match. Thank you for it. And there was a lot of high spots. Like Bretsky said, there's a lot of high spots. In the back and forth of the tag team match, and then like, but you have to remember it was a, it was a match that said if you beat us, then you can get a championship match, and then in between, they did a spot. They literally did a spot outside where somebody got power bombed to the other tag team. It was talking trash about them. They claimed into the match. So they brought the other tag team into the match and at the end into the match and then SCU stopped them. So yeah, what what it is is the hybrid two who didn't get the match win. Try to pin the champs. And you can't pin the champs because the the champs. So but was a great match. Yes, a great match. It was a great match. Oh oh well, the next part, I'm just going to breeze through. Uh, the Acclaim tried to sneak attack. SCU blocks them. Uh, MJF cuts a funny yep. promo on Orange Cassidy with Wardlow behind him. We get a Darby <clears throat> Allen video, black and white, of course. It's a Rorschach test, mostly about the FTW team. Uh, then shown one of Sting, and he laughs. Uh, Cody comes out, Darby, and stands with his title. Zanka, do you have any thoughts on what I just said? Darby is the one star, the one person that I that they're putting effort into building. And if you see how they do this, like to piggyback on what Bretsky was saying, Jake was agreeing with it, and Cesaro was agreeing with, they don't build anybody else really. They build the guys you know, and now Darby. Hopefully they start taking this approach to everybody because I like the Rorschach test thing. I thought it was kind of cool because Darby's a little – He's a little pipsqueak guy. He just reminds me of Spike Dudley. So he needs this character to be darker and, and badass. And I think that did it. It gave him more of an edge. Because right now, he just, I mean, I know he's a skate, skateboarder, but he just reminds me of, like, every little skateboarder I went to school with. You know what I mean? Bretsky, thoughts? Um, yeah, Sting put Cody in his place, um, which is pretty funny. I thought of Cesar immediately, because uh, I feel like that's what Cesar would have said if he was um, a white dude and uh, didn't, did, was told not to go off on a 20-minute cursing tangent. Um, stop with the snow. Um, just stop with the snow. Um, 
And my comments on Darby from last week are the same today. I agree. Darby is the one guy really like that. And, and also kind of um, Ricky Starks as well. But um, Darby is like the one guy who they're building. But I, I, like I said, like even at, if you're comparing with Jeff Hardy, Jeff Hardy is like, like what, like 6'2", you know, he's over six foot and you can believe him beating other guys, like not just roll ups and getting lucky. You know, it's Darby as a small guy, you know, again, I compare him to Gargano. Gargano, probably the same, probably around the same height, um, uh, give or take a couple, in, like an inch or two. But Gargano is fucking ripped. Like, you can tell that, like, he's a, like, he's strong. Like, you can see that he's strong and that he's built. So you could believe that, like, if he just, if he just straight punches you or if he puts you in a submission, that's going to really hurt. Darby, other than the whole taking chances, like you can't have every match be a death match, unfortunately. And like if, if it was, you would believe Darby could win because he'll do anything to to beat his guy. But I I feel and I, I hate saying this because it feels like the old like eighties wrestling fan thing to say, but I I can't believe even with a darker gimmick, which would definitely be an improvement, I can't believe Darby is like the next face of TNT and viably beating guys bigger than him unless he puts on like actual muscle you know i i can't i just can't see it unfortunately it might just be me but i just can't see it with someone like ray mysterio too he's he's thick as fuck and he flies like and i agree with you i mean he's basically if we dropped an anvil on your fucking head bretsky it's like that then we'd have darby (laughs) ellen (laughs) throw some face yeah yeah. yeah, because because then i'd also have mental the whole mental thing that he has going on yeah yeah. Uh, but no, Jake, I, 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 I can't see him being a viable top guy. You can give him all the gimmick you want, but I, I just can't see it. Jake, thoughts on Darby? Um, I think he is at his ceiling. I don't think he'll be a top guy. I don't think he'll be AEW champion at any point. Wow. Um, but that's not a bad thing either. There are perennial mid-carders that have gone on to have decent, like, decent careers. And um, and I think he's gonna be that guy. Like he could win, he can win that title. He can win whatever the fuck random ass title they introduce in the future. He can win whatever that. But here's the thing: he couldn't win the one from Brian Cage right now. You know what I mean? Because Brian Cage is a gigantic man, so he'd have to find some fuck shit way to do it. So that'd be the only way. I, I, I don't know. It's I understand what you guys are saying for sure. And as far as are we talking about Sting as well right now, or is that no? We no, 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 no. Okay, all right. We're not doing that right now. All right. So yeah, Darby. Um, I want to see good things for Darby, but I can see how I can see the trajectory where that does not happen. Cesar, thoughts on Rorschach Darby? <laughs> All right, so 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 Savage. They give Rey Mysterio. Literally, think of Rey Mysterio. Literally, Rey Mysterio back in D and D days. Yeah. Rey Mysterio taking on John Cena. That okay. is right. Rey Mysterio as the champion taking on a guy like John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're talking about when we say Darby Allen versus Brian Cage. Yeah. They, they, no, but not like not like John Cena now. Think of John <laughs> Cena and Bar- <laughs> Batista on the way up. <laughs> You know, Batista's, like, Batista. Batista is a better example because he's a big, bigger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, think, think of Batista like U.S. champion Batista. Yeah. Versus Rey Mysterio, like Rey Mysterio win the heavyweight championship now, but Batista on the way up. Who would you still pick? Probably go with Batista, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> That's what we're talking about when we say Darby Allen versus like. Oh, I, I've seen Darby Allen. He's like, I feel like. Okay, I okay, okay. Show yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, you, you might, but you might not see um, Ryan Gage. Yeah. No, I haven't. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, whatever the fuck is <laughs> Yeah, he's a Batista with backflips. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Not you might not see the machine age. But you've definitely seen Derby Allen, who is exactly like well, Cesar. Mysterio. Cesar, I'm coming to you first on this one because I cannot wait to hear your thoughts on this. Yeah, but, but Tony, I'm, 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 I'm trying to explain. I'm trying to explain to Savage on a Fox Drop when we're 
We're looking at. I think he gets it. He, he gets it, buddy. He gets it. Uh, Tony, here, here. Right. That, that, that's Brian Cage. He's a big fucking dude. <laughs> yes, he gets it. He gets that. that there's some fuck shit happening. <laughs> but like the cracker with the championship is challenging the muscle guy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> the worst. The cracker with the championship is challenging the muscle guy. To like, that's my VP right there. Zanka, does, Zanka, does, be, does being does being baked right now, Zanka, make it funnier? No, but make like, me funnier. You make make Cesar funnier right now. No, but but he knows <laughs> this whole chat is funny. Don't tell the truth. <laughs> don't tell the truth. That crack in the that crack in the stands is like, yo, come fight me. But then the big muscle cracker is like, you know, <laughs> the big, work. The big muscle cracker. We, we all know work. We all know what's going to happen. He gonna fuck you up, bitch. We're calling him BMC from now on. BMC, big muscle right, Whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> Mangria? Uh, Tony Skiavone <laughs> is interviewing Cody Jarrett Rhodes. Uh, oh, Sting God interrupts. Oh, Arn approaches Sting. <laughs> I'm gonna see, and Arn says, I'm gonna see my way out of here after he gets up in yeah, Sting's no, face no. for no reason. Uh, Sting hugs Tony. He wants him to say, It's Sting! Uh, after he says that, Tony leaves. And Sting says, something familiar about this place. And he gestures to Darby. Uh, fans are marking out, of course. What I plan to do here is my business. See you later, kid. Cesar, go on your 20-minute rant about Cody, Jarrett, and Sting. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, I need a refill of my vodka. Before you guys hey, go no, no, no. uh, Cesar, 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 wait. The, the, the president has something to say. Oh, does he? Does he? Uh, president? My president. <laughs> hey, before you ahead. guys go on, I'm going to have to bounce out of here. I don't oh, Savage. Me. Oh, okay, never mind. My bad. Yeah, I got to bounce Savage. Sorry. Appreciate okay, you having me on. Hey, hey. Thank you for being on and listening to our drunk shit <laughs> for so long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to the ladies. The, the sexiness is leaving, yeah, ladies. The sexiness is leaving. <laughs> We just went back down to 1% female viewership. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, man. I don't know. Tony Khan, he can really bring him in. Yeah, but he'll bring that up. He can bring shit in. <laughs> oh, I got us. He can't bring... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's disgusting. Oh, she looks my like God. Me. She looks like me. It's <laughs> fucked up. Oh, I, Jake, I think that's bigger than you. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. And I'm better looking. Oh, my God. I, I, still, I still can't. So uh, wants me to wax poetic. Oh, go I poetic. think he does. Wait, 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 wait. What what happened? I literally just didn't know what happened. Some uh, really fucked up. Mangria wants you to wax poetic on the sting. sting. Oh, the sting shit. Sting. Oh my god. Oh, this... we got him going again. Oh no. Oh, oh come on, Zach, why? <laughs> this fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this fuck boy. <laughs> <laughs> this fuck boy sting it's off the rails oh yeah this fuck boy Dream sting back. came to the rank <laughs> the rank stang to the rank yeah stang to the rank and he came and he's like oh Tony Tony it's been 20 years since I heard you yell it's sting just yep this motherfucker talking this oh. motherfucker talking took me all the way out all the way out Yes. This punk ass bitch talking took me all the way out. Sting is a Sting is a some bitch who like drafts in the rafters, comes down, he fucks you up with a bat, and then you get a pin. But no, this fuck boy wouldn't talk. He wouldn't have a conversation with this faggot ass cracker, Cody Jarrett. Oh Jesus! Cody Jarrett, yeah. Welcome like, back, Mangria. I have to have to leave. Oh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mangria. You didn't put in the headphones, but I said faggot ass cracker. <laughs> Just in case for your podcast. I said faggot ass cracker. Is that Sting? That's two times. Yes, it's Sting. That's two times. Two times. It's That's sting. who we're talking about. It's, it's sting. sting! Oh, my yeah, God. he's with Cody. You know what Cody Jarrett said? Cody Jarrett said, oh, 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 thank you, Sting. Oh, thank you, Sting. For being the TNA flavor of the week and being in my brand and being the TNA flavor of the week so I can get some views of AEW. 
So uh, I can be the hot shit because I don't do shit. But Sean checks like a faggot ass bitch. Cause I'm hey, four, four times for everyone. For everyone. Yo, fuck you. Fuck you, Brecky. And fuck you, Jay. Yeah. And and that shit. He said that shit. He said that shit. I said direct quote. Say that direct shit. quote. You know what? Fuck staying. I'll cut it, Jerry Helmsley. Fuck everybody else. Okay, Bretsky, your thoughts on this segment? Uh, yeah, I misunderstood. I misunderstood last time I talked about Sting, but um, I'll talk about it again. To get get the fuck rid of the snow, um, it's stupid, and the camera clearly can't handle it. Um, and yeah, no Sting talking like. I wish like when he did Joker Sting in TNA, that shit was good. Like that that voice was good. Like when he does like the you know that thing, like that's good. Uh, but like, yeah, I don't get it. Like, I, I will say it's, what surprised me is, is apparently uh, the Bucks last week promo, the Bucks promo where they got attacked by the acclaimed and and TSU got one point one mil, and Sting's debut got one point oh five, which I was shocked to see. Up oh, there goes Jeff. The sheriff, um, which kind of surprised me um, that they had more than Sting, but whatever. Um, but no, like obviously, like it's it's an injection of life to them. Uh, Sting is sixty-one, I think, years old. Yeah. Uh, he yeah. should not be wrestling at all. Uh, apparently, he said that he will, um, but uh, he should not be wrestling at all. It goes back to the same thing with Darby. It's like there's one thing that's the same. Um, don't. Like uh, I, I went on my whole thing already. Uh, but no, yeah, this was a whatever promo. I did like how he put Cody in his place, where he's like, "I'm not here. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, I'm not here to be in the ring with you. What? What do you want?" Um, but no, yeah, this whatever. And this this took all. I mean, I was like hyped for Sting, but also annoyed that they they basically said, "Fuck it, we're gonna go back against the thing that we said we weren't gonna do." Um, but it kind of took the hype away because like Sting should just be silent, pointing the bat, and then leaving because that's what he did in when he debuted and when he talks like a normal dude like if without the face paint on you expect the voice so he's fine with the face paint on it just it kills it jake yeah i mean you guys pretty much covered it all um like i said earlier he, that wasn't sting to me that was that was steve that was just him <laughs> that was him as a human being and that's not what we want out of yeah, the character yeah. Sting. I agree. Um, it, it, eh, 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 I don't know. Last week was cool. The snow, what, everything. The whole thing last the week, stare fine. Down. Yeah. Yes, everything yeah. last week, great. Loved it. This week, shut the fuck up, Sting. Like, Sting, stop talking. Please, stop please, talking. Please. And, and you know what? Don't talk ever again. Just <laughs> point your bat at shit and be, be menacing, even though you're a fucking million years old. But nobody, shit, nobody likes happy Sting no. talking in the ring. No, I don't want that. Like, I'm so happy to be here. It's been so long. Yeah, Give yeah, me a hug, yeah. Tony. I'm like, Giving I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm going to do what I want. Like, yo, yo, I'm going to do what I want. Cody, Cody, I'm out here. I'm going to do what I want. So, whatever. No, shut the fuck up. But yeah, Yo, him treating out. him treating Cody Jarrett as a toddler was incredible. Yeah, so, we wouldn't have gotten that. That. Like so we wouldn't have gotten that if he wasn't doing this, I suppose. So. Okay, let's That's move on. Saying, let's move on like, real quick, Cesar. Uh, Varsity Blondes versus FTR with Tully. Uh, I like how Dax kicks up his left leg before he strikes with his right. That's always my favorite move of his. Uh, yeah. Dax hits a lariat that made Brian Pillman Jr. land on his fucking neck. They're in a commercial picture-in-picture. Yeah. Picture. Uh, totally fucking slapped Ryan Pillman Jr. Griff Garrison double spears FTR. FTR with the Goodnight Express. Cass, Cass shoves Marco's stunt by ringside. I now have purchased 10 FTR shirts. <laughs> uh, Cesar, what did you think of this quick tag match? All right, all right, all right look. So uh, that, this is still in the notes. And I swear to God I wrote that. I swear to God I wrote that Mangria's happy. That fucking uh, Marco Stunt got pushed. Yes, yes, yes. I swear to God, because I know, I know, I wrote that some. Okay, yeah, and you're just taking over the fucking shit for the pod, Ross. But I know I wrote my notes that FTR got the win with the Midnight Express, and I know I wrote because like I wrote fuck you, Bretsky, and then wrote. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. Ha ha, Mangria. That NTR pushed Jungle Express. Well, they, they didn't push Jungle Express, but they pushed Marco Stunt. 
I don't know, Mangrias mod at that shit. On a Talk about six to fuck. midnight. <laughs> yeah. And I know that that shit got got on a on AEW. So yes, I I thought it was a good match. It's a great match. And then AEW we got oh, well, not AEW. Fuck the revival. <laughs> Fuck the revival got the win. Cuz they said but they had the that promo before that they're back on the track. They're back doing anything. And then Tully was like, "No, we're a three-man team." I wasn't out there, but like y'all two were out there. But if I was out there, we'd have the tag team gold. Blah blah blah. blah. Totally on some fuck shit. But yes, you got the win. I'm all good. And Marco Stunt got pushed. <laughs> what you got, uh, Bretsky? I gotta say, I'm actually impressed with the Varsity Blondes during this match. It's a stupid name. But, my God, both these guys have so much potential. Uh, what are your thoughts on this tag team match? I like the name Varsity Blondes because it's of the callback, obviously, yeah. um, from oh. Pillman Jr. to Pillman Sr. I like that. I think the, it's really cool. They mentioned that with Stone Cold, too. They did. Yes. And, I, I, I again, like, it's the same thing. Like, you know, obviously it's the name. Give it, give it or take it. I mean, I think it's fine. I don't think it's the greatest. I don't think, I don't think it's the worst. But I, I really like it, that he's able to do that it's as a little callback. Best. It's decent, <laughs> decent at best. Um. But I, I I think it's really cool that they're able to do that like tribute to his dad. Um, but no, this see this is what I'm talking about. Th two. This is what they should do with Th two because this is a great way of building up Varsity Blondes. You mentioned that they've been racking up a couple of wins on Dark, which not everyone watches. Then you come, you bring them up here to face the former champs, team that's the best in the world, a team that a lot of people think is the best in the world. They have a mildly competitive match. They get some of their stuff in, but in the end, it's pretty quick. And FTR, the more experienced and the more known team, gets a win. Varsity Blondes is able to show their shit. You're able to see that they are the future and that they can eventually get to that point. But FTR may short work them because they're young and inexperienced. This is a great way of building them up. This is exactly how you build up a new tag team. That's all I'm going to say. That if they did this with everyone, then, then I would have no complaints about AEW. Wow, that's that's very smart. And I agree a billion percent, Jake. Oh, wait. Everything you guys said. Moving on. You fast forwarded through this, didn't you? Nope, I saw it. It was good. Okay. It was a fine oh. match. Um, it was short, um, but it was, it was fine. It it was good at show, highlighting off the uh, what are they the Varsity Blondes, Varsity which Blondes. I do like yes. that name because it is it, like like Bretsky said, it is like a callback, and uh, I know nothing about the other team, so it's great. FTR, yeah. you don't no, know about FTR? No, fucking the 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 Stone Cold and Brian Pillman. Oh, the, the Hollywood Blondes. The yeah, Hollywood that was when, Stone, oh that was when yeah. Stone Cold had hair had before the hair. Brian Pillman. That was yeah. before That's Brian all Pillman I know. Went crazy. I know yeah. they were a tag team. That was Stone Cold yeah. had hair, and before, and Brian Pillman wasn't too crazy yet. Yeah, it wasn't. No, yeah, I, know, it was not yeah funny. I, I will say the, the great thing about uh, Tony Chavon and JR is that they said that. They're like, yo. Yep. Yeah. I did Stone like that, Cole, that it was mentioned. They were like Stone Cold and Steve Austin and Brian Pillian, because it's Brian Pillian Jr. Mm-hmm. It was like Brian Pillian Sr. and whatever, or the Varsity Blondes. And then they they gave the shout out. They gave the shout out at least. I'm drunk. After this, Hangman was interviewed. Uh, the Dark Order pop up. Oh, this is Silver so and Reynolds are joining Hangman to face Private Party and Hardy next week. Very uh, humorous segment here. Uh, oh, the Dark Order ass. come out with ten. Uh, Caesar, you posted a picture in the chat. You said something about it'll come up later. Uh, I don't. I want you to pull that up and keep that in mind as I go over this. Uh, yeah. Dustin Rhodes uh, with Lee Johnson versus 10. Shoddy. Big oh, shot. 10, 10. No, no, no. Uh, versus 10. 10 is sweating off his Sharpie 10 tattoo. Uh, 10 with an earth shattering spine buster to Dustin. I should have put more stank on that. 10 with an earth shattering spine buster to Dustin. There it is. Is it worth um, it? Do you feel better? <laughs> uh <laughs> Oh, Aaron Solo. Oh, yeah. Aaron Solo grabbed 10 from the spectators area. 10 clobbers him. After biting that's, that's Ten's Mr. Face, Bailey. After biting 10's face and hitting a running bulldog, Dustin pinned for the win. Dark Order then comes out, and Evil Uno says he's the third important Rhodes. <laughs> he tries to recruit him as seven which i thought was unique because that was his name at wcw yep, yep. i even and got that reference dustin, yep, I got that as well. dustin uh. slaps uno 
Caesar, what was the picture about that you sent in the chat? Go ahead. So, so, so when 10, 10 was coming out, if, if you didn't know to his, uh, his uh, the bar, the name yeah. tag, it said won five of his seven overall matches, 2020 singles record, four and three. Yeah, but but it's overall it counts yeah, tag it last... counts tags. Yeah, 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 but no, no, I'm just saying, that's what I'm saying. Five of his seven overall matches with 2020 singles, four and three. So if you really, if you just lo- if you just looked at it, didn't pay attention like we do, it's confusing. Yeah. Yes. It's confusing. Yeah. Because if you look at his record. And like it is shit. And it was like four and three. All right, that's seven. Wait, what? What was the other one? So it was. It's dumb, but it's not dumb. Do you yeah. think so, Dustin? That's, do you think Dustin that, that's, should join? <laughs> yeah, that's why it was just dumb. It was dumb, but not dumb. But then, yeah, they want they want Dustin to join, and I didn't get that because there is no number seven. Yeah, there I was thinking no if, if they get Hangman to join, is it going to be eight? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> honestly, honestly, I thought I thought Hangman would be the seven. No, he should be hundred for hundred proof. Or Whoa. forty. Yeah, or forty or forty. 40. Well, no, what's um, what's what's whiskey's proof? What's whiskey's proof? Because he he drinks whiskey, no, no, right? No, no, there's there's a lot though. There's a lot because like yeah, it really depends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it honestly really depends. I don't know if energy is a really like nine or ninety nine. She's ninety nine. She's ninety nine. Ninety nine. No, 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 but 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 she really kind of is nine because seven. Because if Uno was like joining me to seven, there's a lot of those motherfuckers. Don't disrespect the disrespect. Disrespect number ninety nine. All right, well, then tell me the nine. He falls off his chair. Tell me the nine in Dark Order. (laughs) Tell me the nine. Tell me the nine in Dark Order. There is none. time for that. It's going to be a five-hour podcast. There is none. There's no – there's – there's. it goes Evil Uno. One. Stu is two. Yep. Then there's – Reynolds is three. Silver is four. Um, Whatever his face is is five. Then it does – then there's no – Isn't his name just five? No, his name is just five, but they have – some yeah. he has he has another name. Yeah, and he has no his six, actual name. There's no six, I believe. There's no seven, I believe. There's no eight, I believe. And then there's no nine. No, there's an eight. There's an eight. Is there? The motherfucker who tags with silver is like I think eight. No, no. Reynolds, Reynolds is, is two. Oh, Reynolds is three. Reynolds is three. Reynolds is three. A three. Reynolds is three. Stu, Stu Grayson's two. Wait a minute. What um, about Colt? Oh, then, then what's two? Colt, 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 Colt doesn't have a number. Colt, not, Colt doesn't have a number. number. Oh, okay. Stu Grayson is two. Don't call me Dick is two. <laughs> um and then there and then ten is ten and then Anna J is ninety nine. Well, cause you just said a lot of shit over again. All right, what's one? All right, one, one is Evil Uno is one. Stu, don't call me Dick Grayson is two. Two. Alex Reynolds is three. Okay. John Silver is four. Yeah. Five is five. Five is five. There's no six. There's no there's, seven. No seven. There's, there's no eight. There's no nine. Whoa! And, and then number, then, then so ten. Eight? There's no eight. Who is nine? There is no nine. There's only a ninety-nine. And then there's ten, which is ten. And then there's then there's nine. And then and then there's Anna J is ninety-nine, and Colt Cabana has no number. Oh yeah, Colt's there. I no, forgot, Colt's I, there. I forgot about Colt. Colt. Has a number. Colt has a number. No, he does not. He, he absolutely does actually not. hasn't officially joined. That's true. He still is not officially joined. That's right. After after BTE, he's he's yeah, in. I'm just gonna Google Doug order. Okay, let's let's get Jake's quick uh, thoughts on this real quick. <laughs> yeah. Again, it's kind of one of those filler matches. It was fine. It didn't need to happen, but I love the Dark Order, and whenever they're on my screen, I'm happy. So fuck it. The seven reference was cool. After this, Tony interviews Shaq with Brandy All right, as well. Thanks, thanks for thanks for my input, Mangria. You, you I'm just, just trying did, to move the song you? along, dude. I just I just I just listed the numbers. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't know. You were talking uh, so long. I thought Tony, you talked about it. Tony interviews Shaq with Brandy as well. Brandy has an arm brace. Shaq is not a fan of what Jade 
uh, did to Brandy's arm. However, he can't wait to see Brandy and Jade face off. Tells Brandy she could learn something by watching Jade. Brandy, offended, throws water in Shaq's face. Bresley, I'll start with you, my man. What do you think of Shaq and AEW? So, why is Shaq a fan of Jade? Anyone know? Aren't they like a partnership? Kind of, isn't that a partnership? They fucking. They They're fucking? probably fucking. Yeah. Well, Jade Jade mentioned something about him. Shaq, and then she uh, did. Uh, wasn't mentioned. Um, uh, and then, wow, alrighty, Brandy, for someone blurring the lines between wrestler and CBO of a fucking company, it might not be the best look to be throwing water on Shaq. Um, no, it was just funny because uh, I just feel like if you're trying to portray this executive and wrestler. Like Cody would never have done that. Yeah. Cody never would have done that. And it, it's what I, I feel like. That I feel like it should have been like more of a professional. Like I'm sick of this shit. Like you're not welcome back or something like that. Instead of throwing water. Um. And in my personal opinion, uh, the whole Jade thing cooled down fast because they had an, she had a great debut, a phenomenal debut. And Brandy had the promo over life, and it was great. And then <laughs> it just got forgot about. Yeah. And that's the problem. Like the same thing with Art with Murderhawk and how he he they had the thing with Kingston. But in a way, forgot about it. Now back up. Now it's back on. It's it, it all lost steam, and now all of a sudden we still don't know why Vicky Guerrero and and Nyla yeah. are involved, and now Eva Lee and Diamante are involved, and Big Swole is involved, and 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 Red Velvet is involved, and I'm like, why why or why are all these people involved? Like I just don't get it, and it, it's getting all convoluted. I still don't know why Shaq loves Jade. I. I it's just getting way too complicated. Brandy um, made herself look very unprofessional, um, which I know is tough to blur the lines, but she's blurring the lines. She's trying to blur them. So be act like the chief brand officer. Um, but yeah, no, I just, it just got confusing. And it just seemed again, you know, say we're going to have Shaquille O'Neal on and people who watch TNT who don't know what AEW is. Shaq's on TNT. They watch basketball. Oh fuck. Shaq's going to be on this. Let's see. Then it just, it's, it's not, a, if you're going to bring Shaq on, have it be with something that like make, make make sure you mention it every week and make it seem more important and don't have it be so convoluted and like cause how, like if again if I'm a casual fan I don't really know who Red Velvet is I just see that she's on Dark all the time so like I don't know who Red, Red Velvet is you know it, it's a, it's the whole thing so it's not explained very well the interview is whatever uh, Brandy was acting very petty and very heel like it just it whatever whatever Jake, I don't care enough anymore Jake thoughts on Kazam and AEW. <laughs> I will make this short and sweet. I do not give a fuck. Uh, Moving on. Uh, Cesar, please, for the love of God, give us a heifer. Oh, is it a heifer? 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 Oh, Shaq, you try to bring a heifer up and down? <laughs> nah, it, it, was, it was good shit. With a chivon, chivon with the earring, and then um, chivon, chivon great. had the water cup beside him all night, so it was good until that point. And then we also the afterthought because Brandy threw the water cup at Shaq, so we're like, "Bitch, why, why the chivon got this fucking water cup that you're gonna throw at Shaq?" In like a minute and a half. You don't know that shit. And then fucking Shaq was like, yo, I, I, I was like, Eve. Like, show you some shit in the ring. Because I'm Shaq, Papa John's. Oh, you pizzas. call him a fucking Papa John's board member. I lost it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, it was all some fucking shit. Y'all know what it was. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. So, yeah, man. It was, it was some whack shit. It was some white shit by AEW. Trying to get Papa John's on some shit, but we don't know what time it was. We don't know what time it was. Well, up next, no, the inner, yeah, yeah. The inner Also, circle, Jade, lo Jade looks like she could be a dominatrix. Oh, yeah. Uh, the inner circle came out to the ring. Uh, this was the whole ultimatum segment. Air your grievances, Jericho said. People think I'm going to break up this group, MJF says. Sammy gets up in his face. Shut up. Screw you. Uh, MJF, I had sweat on my brow. Ortiz then starts talking. Wardlow, you're great. Never change. Ortiz is great with, uh, good with Wardlow. He also says, MJF, 
you're growing on me like a fungus. And then Jericho tells Sammy, you're better than him and you know it. Sammy, shake his hand. No, Ortiz, oh, that, said, that. Ortiz said that. Uh, if anything else happens, I quit, Sammy says. Why does this guy keep staring at me, Hagar says. He finally, they finally fucking oh, address it. I popped for that hard. I was like, yes! And then, um, what? Oh, they say, put it in. They all middle fingers huddle. Uh, Bretsky, what did you think about this very entertaining segment? Uh, this is my highlight of AEW. This is amazing. Um, you have the two best parts of AEW, which are the inner circle, and you have MJF, and you combine them, and you have a super segment. Um, it was funny hearing Wardlow talk because I, I don't know if you guys listened to or watched him on AEW Unrestricted. Very cool dude. Very laid back dude. But his voice is so much different when he's not in ring. And it's so funny. Like he sounds like super, like super laid back. Just like, yeah, I'm, I'm a Wardlow. You know, it, it, it was so funny uh, hearing that discrepancy. Um, but yeah, no, it was a great mix of comedy with Wardlow and Hager. That popped me huge as well. Uh, and the seriousness, because clearly Sam, something's going to happen. Sammy's going to quit, and he's going to be the next top baby piece. They, I'll say they've built Sammy. They've really built Sammy very well, um, and it, it's, been very, it's been done well. Um, I love this a lot. I can't wait. It's going to be Sammy versus MJF, or maybe even Sammy versus Jericho, and Sammy's probably going to go over uh, down the line. I'm very excited for it. Um, this was done to perfection, this whole segment. I loved every minute of it, even at the end when MJF is like, I'm going to beat Orange Cassidy. Jericho's like, Hey, hey, you ruin it. You ruined it. You ruined it. Now, that was funny. Uh, but, you know, this was, this was the best part of AEW for me. Jake, thoughts? Uh, this is the first time uh, since the opening tag match that I actually had fun. <laughs> so, so I appreciated it. I love the inner circle. And uh, like Bretzky said, they're building Sammy to be such a baby face, which I would have never expected because, God, I want to punch that guy. <laughs> So I, I'm I'm excited to see it because I, I think he's gonna be fantastic. These are thoughts. So yeah, same shit, man. Same shit. Like Sam this is really building Sammy to be this baby face because uh Sammy said at the end of this promo, Sammy said if anything happens, I'm out. I'm quitting the inner circle. So this is really, really like the one thing that Sammy could say to be out. But no, this is a great promo. Everything was great. With what led to this loss of Bretzky. Well, Cesar, up next, Fear the Revival was interviewed about Jungle Express. Those are the only two lines I wrote about it. Uh, Eddie Kingston, Butcher and the Blade with Bunny versus Lucha Bros, Murder Hawk, and Jake the Snake, of course, comes out. A brawl breaks out. Butcher has put Penta through a table. Match starts pretty mm. much three on two now. Eddie laughs at Penta as he's taken away. Bunny chokes Phoenix on the apron, tells Cameron, what, what? I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Of course, you know I love it when Bunny uh, hams it up for the camera. That went, uh, oh, JR, that woman is a Jezebel. A uh, hot tag to Murder Hawk. He murders everyone. Uh, then Murder Hawk was beat down during the commercial. Uh, Phoenix tagged in. He flies over the top rope to Eddie. Uh, he might have hurt himself. It, he landed pretty rough. Butcher and Blade, do a double team, pin for the win. Murder Hawk then continues to attack Butcher and the Blade. Uh, Jake, we'll start with you first. What did you think of this tag match? It was uh, it was fine. I mean, it, I don't have much to talk about with it because I, I for whatever reason, can't get invested in the in this because maybe, kind of like like you guys said, it, they kind of went away from it for a little while and now they're back on it. And I don't care about Murder Hawk and Eddie Kingston's. He's growing on me. But he, he didn't do anything, really. Uh, so, uh, I don't know. I, I got nothing. I have nothing to add, as per usual. Cesar. Hey, he's in the go. The mother. Yeah. Uh, Bretsky? <laughs> <laughs> um, Phoenix seemed really off uh, the whole match. Like, he botched. Like, he missed a kick in the beginning. And ever since then, he seemed like he missed some stuff. He missed the cutter reversal to Kingston, and he, he seemed pretty off. I still don't get why 
I mean, Phoenix and, and Phoenix can be a baby face, and uh, uh, Pam and Penza can be baby faces. I don't get why their baby faces are uh, Archer is baby face and Pac is baby face. Um, you I gotta say, it. you I, gotta say their name, please, uh, Brett. You're good at oh, saying it. The death Triangle. <laughs> you know what I mean. I don't say it. Jake says it. Jake. Jake said, Jake, was it Diamante? I, I forget it now. He, he released <laughs> Diamante. Diamante. It was a, it was a tri- Diamante. Tri- triangulo. What are they, triangulo, a diamond or a triangle now? Tri- triangulo, triangulo de los Muertos? There. Yeah, tri- triangulo de los Muertos, yeah. Got it. Um, I, for, I was like, what? What, what, what shape are they? Uh, I'm yeah, trying no, to watch Kenny Omega's promo. Tri- it's like, whatever. Like, I mean, they, it was a decent, it was a decent whatever match, you know, and I take it or leave it. It was fine, but, uh, no, I just don't get the I just don't get the 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 face and heel the face and heel dynamic for this. Um, and also, yeah, I love Bunny hamming up on the outside. Well, I, nope, not me. I would never. You know, that stuff was funny. Up next, um, skipping a little bit, Abaddon versus Tesha Price. Uh, Abaddon with Widow's Peak for the win. It continues his attack, but here comes Sheeta. Attacks with the Kindle Stick. She rises up like the Undertaker. Uh, this is very quick. Do you, either of you have anything to say about this? Talk about things I don't care um, about. I, uh, I with Abaddon, I for a minute was like critiquing it like a real person, um, and then I'm like thinking to myself, well, what doesn't make sense? Like, she, I, 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 like she's a she's is she undead? Like, they actually never really explained her character, which is interesting. Like, I actually had to look up what her character was. I just know she's spooky, <laughs> um, but. Yeah, the thing is, I was because I've been especially with Undertaker thirty years and retiring. Like this, they've released all these interviews and listening. And uh, I want to say Pritchard was saying like how Undertaker in the beginning, because you compare it to Undertaker, obviously. Uh, Undertaker had and Undertaker was saying like in the beginning of his career, he had to work like the gimmick would work. But Abaddon like moves too fast. Like, I don't, is she a zombie? Like what? I don't know. Like she's a zombie, and like I think she's very interesting. Give you a shot of life, and I I need things better than Sheeta at this point, other than Riho. So, I, I like I'm fine with it, and I hope she wins the title. But like, I just like I wish they'd explain her character more, and I wish she would work more like the uh like the character. Like Taker was saying, like how in the beginning he had to work very slow, and he had to limit himself to stuff that he knew he could do, but he shouldn't do. And then the American Badass, he could do all the shit he wanted to do. And then the new version of the Undertaker, he was able to combine American Badass and First Undertaker, so he was able to do like the actual like super athletic stuff he'd always wanted. But I feel like Abaddon needs to do more work with that because I've never seen her in a match longer than a minute anyway. So I think she needs to do that shit. Who said Abaddon was hot? Andy. Cynic. No, Cynic. I thought it was Andy. (laughs) No, he he said that that without makeup, she looked like an early 2000s porn star. Because that sounds like something Andy would say. So It does. It does. It does, but Cynic was like, does Abaddon look hot? She looks like just me. It's so just like me. Ass that shit. No, she looks like a mini pounder. She's like gaining on <laughs> mini pounder. pounder. Yeah, <laughs> she's gaining on us. Yeah. Ah, gaining. Got no, Zach it. asked the question, but and then I, I don't think what the fuck no. Someone said no. I, I think it was Caesar did. Caesar yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. You know, well, the, no. No. Zach Zach was really <laughs> like. I I I'm I'm really trying to fight <laughs> fucking hiccups. Oh, this is the most drunk we ever had, Caesar. Like, yeah, yeah, it fucking, is. <laughs> the fucking cynic is dumbass. Oh. Was like, I'm gonna take the bread back. <laughs> cynic is dumbass. Was like, does, hold your breath. Hold your breath. Hot? Yeah, does the Abaddon look hot without the fucking makeup? I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> and I was like, no, bitch. And he was like, well, I'm just saying. And that comment was so bad, Bretzky had to take his title from him. <laughs> yeah, that was why. Like. Uh, up next, Kenny Omega and Don Callis arrive in helicopter. Marvez tries to interview but gets shot down. Uh, Justin Roberts with that very long intro. Uh, now we have four sweeping girls this time. Uh, Tony's disgusted by Kenny and Don's behavior. Callis, he cuts a great promo. I actually liked yeah. it. Uh, Kenny... Oh, Kenny by God Omega. Uh, Kenny actually, he cuts a great promo as well. Uh, some people make matches. Some people make money. Kenny makes history. Bratsky, thoughts on this pretty incredible promo segment? 
Well, my first thing I want to say is, Caesar, you have the hiccups. The only way to get rid of hiccups is to scare you out of it. So here's this very scary image for you right there. I hope it cures <laughs> your hiccups for you. Um, it did. But, it did. It did. <laughs> but yeah, no, this is an awesome promo from Callus. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's like, it, it made you think. And it was like, huh, maybe Don Callis did help. Like, has, if, it, if, it, if Tony Khan is on the truth that Jericho Omega is what spawned AEW, then yeah, he technically did because Callis put that match together. And it made it happen. So... I mean, it was a really genius promo, um, and, and I love Callus is like the like super energetic, like yeah, 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 and then you know, and Omega is like the yeah, I'm the champion. Yeah, what the fuck are you gonna do about it? Um, I think obviously Kenny is not known for his promo skills. Uh, I think that he still needs to work on them, um, but uh, but I think this is one of his better ones. Uh, this was just a genius promo all in all. Um, and I really liked, I really like the direction where they seem to be going. And I like how everyone on commentary is like, yeah, fuck you. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? And they're like, what are you, no, what are you talking about? Jake, thoughts? I think Cesar went to go vomit. Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> it looked like he was. Or get some bread um, or something. Some, maybe some, some water. Maybe some water. Um, I loved it. Uh, I just finished it literally as you guys were talking. Um, <laughs> because that's where I, and that's where I stopped because I thought I had an extra half hour and I did not. Um, so yeah. And it turns out I would have had a little bit of time anyway, cause everyone else was late, uh, except for Zanka, which is wild. Um, it was the first one. <laughs> it's crazy. You know, yeah. Man, Greer texted. He goes, he goes, uh, yeah, Bretsky, you should watch the, uh, your match in APPW so you can go to promo on Cynic. Like, all right, I go to watch it. I was saying a text. Yeah. Uh, Zanka, Zanka's in the chat room. I was surprised. <laughs> I was surprised. <laughs> I'm, I was surprised. I didn't expect that at yeah, all. Yeah. Read um, it and weep, Cynic. Read it and weep. I hope you're not listening to the audio version of this and you're watching it because we oh, you got to watch it. <laughs> and I, I, anyone who's listening to this, I'm sorry. Watch, watch this one. <laughs> yeah, this is a, this is a watch along. Don't 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 Episode listen to this one. Sixty nine is must don't, watch. Don't listen to oh, this yeah. one. It's must watch YouTube. On oh, I can't I can't, I can't wait to channel. see the cameo intro that Mangria got for this one. If you already got the <laughs> porn star already for earlier episodes. What were we talking about? Uh, Kenny Omega, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got the I got the uh, I got the guy right here. Here he is. Here's Kenny. Here's the champ. Here he is right there. Wow. Um. It's fitting that Kenny Omega's champion and then Sephiroth gets announced for Super Smash Brothers, the one-winged angel. So mm. it's it's very fitting. I I love it. It's good shit. They didn't plan that, but it it worked out very nicely. Uh, his promo was fantastic. Don Callis's promo was fantastic. I, I liked it. Heel Kenny is just going to be fun to watch. I also I'm- liked in, Ju- in Justin Roberts' intro, like how it's like it, that's the mark of a great heel. It's like what what what, what he's saying is right. But you hate to hear him say it. Like yeah. I think he said something in his in Justin Roberts in the intro was like, uh, and he's been undefeated in single because he had the twelve and zero winning streak. He's been mm-hmm. undefeated in singles action for like four hundred sixty six days or something like that. And you think back, you're like, huh? Well, he didn't really wrestle singles matches for most of that. Yeah. But fuck, he never lost one. Fuck, God damn it, he's right, and it, and it makes you hate him. And, and that was great. Well, Bradsky, yep. it's gonna it's be me. Always talking about that bitch, Kane. Yeah. Bretsky, it's going to be me and you here for the uh, main event for the Diamond Ring on AEW MJF with the Inner Circle versus Orange Cassidy oh. with the best friends. Uh, Orange Cassidy throws his shirt at MJF. MJF chokes him with it. On the outside of the ring, MJF stuffs o- Orange Cassidy's head, hand, in his pants. Apron power bomb. That was pretty sweet. MJF puts Orange Cassidy's fingers through the metal turnbuckle fastener. Uh, what Randy Orton did to uh, Sean Spears many, many, many months ago. Yes. Uh, Orange Cassidy tossed the outside inner circle, of course, shenanigans, stomped the shit out of him. Uh, during commercial picture in picture, MJF continues the punishment to the fingers, even biting them. Uh, the best friends bring out top flight Brandon Cutler, Griffin Bryan. The Varsity Blondes. Uh, Aust- oh, Austin Gunn was visible yeah! in the background. Yeah! Immediately yeah! Top of Bretzky. Uh, MJF attempted... I, the- I, almost, I damn you turned off the TV. No. <laughs> MJF attempted Heat Seeker. Uh, or- Orange Cassidy counters, tosses him out of the ring, and then fucking front flips off the top rope onto all of Inner Circle. Uh, MJF does hit the Heat Seeker. Uh, and then he pins with his feet on the ropes. He tries to uh, 
set up Orange Cassidy, framing him with a bat. It fails. Beach break by Orange Cassidy. Orange punch twice. Wardlow places MJF's foot on the rope as Orange Cassidy was this close to winning the match. A brawl ensues. Miro turns Orange Cassidy inside out with a hell of a lariat to help MJF retain the ring. And then Miro oh, takes out security. Uh, Kip was there too. Bretzky, uh, what were your thoughts on the main event? Um, yeah, I mean, this is this is a fun match. Um, again, when you take the Orange Cassidy character out of it, which I which grow which it, it just where it's rob it's wearing off. Uh, the the hype of it's wearing off. But he's a, obviously he's a very talented wrestler. So and when he's you a merch just, seller. He is a merch seller. Um, but like, yeah, I've, I've spoken enough about the character. If you want to hear me talk about the character and you were listening right now and you haven't already, go back to a couple, go back to some previous episodes. You'll hear me eventually. Um, but yeah, no, this is a fine match. I love the strategy of targeting his hand because he has the orange punch. Um, I think no one should ever kick out of the Heat Seeker for a while. So I like how they did that with like the rope break um, and, and, yeah. and that. Um, yeah, I'm happy MJF won because he should always have that diamond ring because there's no point for a face to have it. Um, when Miro, yeah, Miro at the end with that great outfit, when Miro grew, when, when Miro goes crazy, I love it. But then I remember that his gimmick is a gamer and I cry. And so thanks <laughs> AEW. This is how he should be booked by any promotion in the world, no matter what promotion it is. Cause he was just killing motherfuckers. Like he fucking, <laughs> that popped me too. He threw a dude off the stage and Tony goes, this it, it's almost Christmas time. They have families. They're just producers. And Jar- <laughs> that's Jared goes, like something Jr. would say. No, and then Jared goes, "Yeah, sassafras." Uh, but that that was funny. Sassafras. But like Miro, Miro was just killing guys, and I'm like, "This is this is he's a big dude. This is how you book him. Don't book him to play video games and give fucking arcade games to Kip Sabian. It, it ruined both of them from the start. This is how you should be booking him. Just I don't care if he is the best man. Just like have him beat everyone up, like getting in the because they're getting in the way of like the wedding or something. I don't know, but this is how he should always be booked. Well, now it's time for us to list our wrestlers of the week, and I shall go first. I am gonna pick Straight Sonia Raquel Gonzalez with the War Games oh, match with NXT. Uh, personally, um, I think the momentum. At WrestleMania, uh, this year's WrestleMania, Rhea was up here. Straight Sonya was down here. And now Swapped. it's the complete opposite. Straight Sonya is up here. Rhea is down here. She is my wrestler of the week. Big fan, big fan. Jake, who is your wrestler of the week? Go to Bretzky first, I'm thinking. Bretzky, who is your wrestler of the week? Uh, mine's also Straight Sonya and Raquel Gonzalez um, for the same reason. That's why Raquel Gonzalez is the reason I gave the beer cheese to the women's war games because – it's clear they're keen on building her. Vince obviously loves her because she's a big lady. So what, he he loves her. Um, I she's a star. She's literally a, a, a mega star in the making, yes. and they're doing everything right with her. They brought her in as a heavy for Dakota Kai, someone who was already an established star and on the rise. People didn't know who she was. Now everyone knows who she is, and she's been building up, building up, building up, building up ever since her debut. She has been incredible. I have loved it. And she was incredible in war games. She's incredible against Ember Moon. She got the win both times. She is on the rise. And watch out for Raquel Gonzalez. I cannot wait to see what the future holds for her. So Raquel Gonzalez is my wrestler of the week as well. Cesar, wrestler of the week. Gotta follow the grip, man. Trace on you. Wow. Could we make wow. this a unanimous? Let's see what Cesar says. No, no, no. Uh, Trace on you. She got the win in the war games with EO. I, I, I'm not going to say anything, but you all know. I called that EO, EO could take a pin. Yep. I I didn't think that EO would take the pin, but I said that EO could take a pin. If you go back one week to the, uh, to the uh, prediction match, but I said EO could take a pin. I didn't think she would take a pin to straight Sonya, but this leads to straight Sonya main eventing NXT, which I'm not mad at. I'm not mad at to what she did. And then, you know, she said, yeah, I pinned the women's champion. I pinned kind of like Amber Moon, the number one contender. So, yo, I'm straight on you. I'm in this shit. I'm beating bitches up. And then, yeah, Rhea kind of came out to talk some shit. And then Trey Sonia got out of the ring. It's whatever. But Trey Sonia. Yeah, she's my wrestler of the week. 
Okay, I'm guys. Gonna I'm going to say this right wait, now. For, wait, before, wait, before Jake, before Jake, I'm going to say right now a, a heads up prediction. Obviously, we'll see what the card is. I'm guessing we're going to predict for New Year's Evil. I calling it right now. Hopefully, they go through with it. Raquel Gonzalez wins the title at New Year's Evil. You know what? I'm not even mad at that. I'm, I'm not, not even mad at that. that. Whoa, I, I agree. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. The, the trajectory of straight Sonia is very important right now. So I, I don't. I'm not mad at that. I, if she wins a title, she deserves wait, wait. it. You love Eo though. She's had, Io. she's had her time. She's had her time. She she's had it since like the summer too. She's had a long time. Yeah, like like she's had a good run. She had a good run. She but... took it from Charlotte. That, that's yeah. a that's an accomplishment yeah. in itself. But hold on, guys. Drum roll time. Will Jake be unanimous with us, or will he fuck it up? Here we go, Jake. Your wrestler of the week. Drum roll. So I had you move on to Bretsky because I was trying to think of someone that wasn't her. Oh. Um, and I couldn't. So oh. this will be the first. Is it the first ever? It's first time ever. Unanimous wrestler yeah. of the wow. week. Raquel Gonzalez, straight Sonia. Yeah. I can't wait until she never sees this. That's true. I, I, I couldn't think of anyone else that deserves it more. Like, there's not another person who had a better week. I mean, there's not. He's not mad. He's not mad. There's not another person. She, she, had a, she, had a, she had the pin Sunday and the pin Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, there's not another person that deserves it. Kenny was last week because he won a fucking champion. Like, the championship in his brand makes sense. The, but but, but Kyle Kenny, Gonzalez, but she's, Kenny, she's about but to go to, to the moon. But Kenny, to the yeah. moon. Kenny had two promos. But he didn't wrestle, but Trey Sonia wrestled Sunday, wrestled Wednesday, and still got the win on yeah. both, both shows. Bowls. It was impressive. And and she's she's going places for sure. Uh, she she's she who knows by the end by the end, like the start of next year she could have a great year already. Well, first and foremost, gentlemen, I know we tease them all the time, but I would I greatly appreciate after party Jake joining us for these past three weeks. He joined us after the last three and a half. SRAP, so he went all the way until the new SRAP. So. Yeah. Uh, I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Jake, for your time. Um, it's now time for the plugs, so you may That's go hard. first. I go first? Go first. Yeah. All right, so uh, Tuesday, the SRAP, Still Real After Party podcast, comedy, and and you guys know, the same people listen. Uh, yeah, that, the, the, the logo behind the man, the man who does way more work than I do. And on the uh, shirt. And on the shirt. Not on my shirt. I have Exodia because I'm a child. Um. Yeah, so yeah, why, uh, Tuesday we come back, we do TLC predictions this weekend or th- for this weekend. And then uh, the week after, uh, we're about to go on vacation. So who, we're, we're going we're gonna to have a little episode then too. So it'll be great. Dude, TLC is looking like a very good card. You know, I just, I just <sighs> waxed sure. poetic about our appreciation Some for matches. Jake. But next week, we're going to talk all kinds of shit about him because it's going to be after a podcast. Yep. So yep. <laughs> Cesar, wait. Cesar, what are your plugs for the night? That you remember. Well, you know that <laughs> Julius underscore Cesar is the hashtag you people got to follow. You want to follow Wife from Wednesday. This is my man right here, Just Grady Comics. So if you want to follow Just Grady Comics on Instagram, that's him. JustGradyComics.com. Look that shit up. And uh, if, if you're into comics like my dumb ass is, then uh, you like to buy graded comics worth a lot of money he sells them so just look at the dot com literally right there he sells all types of comics not just you know iron man or punisher that you see in the fucking scope he sells all types of comics for anything he gets them graded he gets some the pristine shit that you gotta do to get the most worth and it's just, so you think you got a comic that's worth some money? Just get comic.com. Call that call that motherfucker. Call him. Go get it graded for your dumb ass. Then you'll be like, yo, I thought this was worth 18 bucks. It's worth like 105. That's where your bitch ass is at. Call him out. He got you. All that free advertisement for 20 people. The Great it's Gretzky, 99. That's not free. Yeah, 50 bucks. Um, wow, it's up my turn. Um, 
I have my own podcast. Of course I do. Um, it's called the Faux Pod. Ha ha, get it. Ha get it. You can search it on your podcast platform of choice. You know, Spotify, Anchor, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts. If you're using Apple Podcasts, by the way, give us that five-star review. Um, you know, Breaker, if you're one of those people on Breaker, I uh, respect it. Um, any of your podcast platforms of choice, it's T-H-E space F-A-U-X space P-O-D. Uh, the last episode, if, by the time you hear this, um, it'll be before I record the next one. So the last episode, episode number 32, was with none other than the sheriff that you here saw and heard here today with the, all the funny pictures, getting high. The sheriff is Anka. That's so real to us. He was on the last podcast. I would say it's the funniest podcast I've ever done, at least one of the top like three. So it was absolutely incredible to do it with him. And I kept his attention for an hour, so that was fun. So go listen to that. We, like I said, that was episode, episode 32. So you have 31 other main episodes to go go choose from. You can learn something new about someone you already know, like Cesar was on episode 26. Mangria was on episode 13. Jake was on episode 16. You can learn something new about someone you already know, or you can learn something new about someone you don't even know. Like all of my friends from college and all my friends from back home in Jersey, go give it a check. You got three mini sewed compilation, like five to 10 minute compilation videos, uh, podcast as well. If you want to follow that on Instagram, it's at T H E F A U X P O D dot C A S T on Instagram at the faux pod dot cast and on Twitter at the faux pod underscore cast. Uh, Cause Twitter doesn't let you use dots. Um, for any updates about podcasts, new episodes, audio, guests, all that fun shit. And you want to follow me personally on Instagram. It's at the great Bretzky 99. Wow. Very well done, sir. All righty, gentlemen. Thank you for your time. Thank you to Savage Alpha Foxtrot. We've finally yes, seen them after yes. so long. That was crazy. Thank you that to Sheriff insane. Zenka. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me for the past 69 after party hangovers. Oh, nice. Slash tripod That's crazy sessions. already. That, Wait, Mangria, already Mangria, crazy. Mangria. Wait, I know you do the outro all the time. I think I got it. I think I got it. I want, I want, to, I want to spread my wings and fly. Can I do the outro? Take, go for it, buddy. As always, all hail, all hail. fine Gammon Grimes. <laughs> Linda's